Today's episode of Alter Egos is sponsored by Dice Dungeons. They make and sell all kinds of awesome dice, coins, boxes, and other D&D tabletop accessories over on their site, DiceDungeons.com. They have plastic dice, metal dice, wooden dice, which good ones are very hard to come by, but theirs are fantastic. Go check out their selection now and you can get 10% off any order with the code DOORMONSTER, all lowercase. And if you are watching this video during the premiere and you place an order of $20 or more before noon Central Standard Time, they will toss in a free bag of mystery dice with whatever else you buy. So be sure to check them out, get yourself some cool stuff, and enjoy the show. Hey everyone, and welcome back to Alter Egos. For all 50 people, I commented on the questions of saying, hey, when are we going to do this again? Here it is. I'm not a liar, I'm just slow. Um, so we're going to go through uh, a brief explanation of our setting. If you didn't watch the episode last time, that's fine. We'll get you all cut up. There's nothing you need to know from those because we're going to go all over it again. Then we'll get back to our players, and then we'll start playing. So our setting is on the continent of Ralkeen, which is sort of a wiggly dragon tooth shape. Um, and we are in the city of Aviel, which is a holy city of Sarenrae. Uh, epochs ago, Sarenrae and Asmodeus disagreed about the virtuous nature of the mortal soul, and so they made a deal. They said, hey, if this city works out and people are still good in helping each other, that's fine. But if it falls into disrepair and apathy, Asmodeus gets all the souls that ever entered it. So, since that time, the city has flourished, and hopefully will continue doing so, but that's up to some of y'all. The city itself looks like a wedding cake sort of stacked up against a cliff. There are six different tiers, six different districts. They are called chords, like groups of strings on a harp. Um, and we'll go through them as we hit them. In the meantime, let's talk about who will be playing today, starring here. Hey, uh, I am uh, Owen Pritchard. I am a blacksmith in uh, whichever tier that applies to. I don't remember where the artisan thing was. I used to know what all the different tiers were, but it's been two years. Um, I uh, made an honest living for a while until I found out that uh, my father was uh, part of a very long lineage of assassins. Trained by the Trained. official. Can you fix that, please? I got it. Is that him saying he needs to go out? What's he doing? He's just yeah, playing along. He, oh, he, he just wants. Um, yeah. So <laughs> <laughs> my uh, my father was a uh, an assassin um, that had uh, called the Silverback that wore this uh, special armor and would be sent out on um, kill missions by the government to go take out people that were bothering them. Uh, and he got captured, and I found his armor, and I don't know if he's dead or alive, but now I have it. And, uh, I am tr attempting to find his location mm -hmm. or more information through the criminal underworld that he was once part of. Cool. Yeah. Good description. Alright, I am, uh, Pippa Rose. Um, my alternate identity is called Aurora, and I am an Asimar. And I am also, in my civilian capacity, the Acolyte of Karada, which is a post that serves Serenre and guards the city. So I am kind of a, bu a bureaucrat. I have a lot of connections um, to that uh, civil world, which has actually proved more useful to me, I think, than my actual superhero persona. And I am very magical and sparkly and a very, like, moral, good person who is really passionate about not letting all those souls fall to Asmodeus. Oh, and um, I have a companion, um, my Eidolon, whose name is uh, Rhododactylus, which means <laughs> rosy fingers, uh, which is a reference to uh, the works of Homer. Anyway, um, and it is a bird that catches on fire. It's like a pigeon the size of an eagle that burns and speaks English. Are we talking like, That's like, like tubby street pigeon or like, like gorgeous it's white? It's a mix. Like, oh, it's fleshy. It's and yet fleshy. majestic. It's got a fleshy. A Reuben esque pigeon. Do you mean like plushy? Like squishable? No, like sure. it has no it's feathers. Squishable. It just has no feathers. It's just it's fire, really. It's just, it's just Play Doh. You don't like, like before you cook a chicken? Uh, <laughs> I drew a picture of it. You can see it in the concept art, which I assume will play like, at some point. It looks amazing. The bird and the, the specifically bird. The person looks good too. Thank I you. apologize. Very right. better. Um... <laughs> So I am Caprice Royalte, also known as Psycho Seer. That's so good. Um, <laughs> uh, I'm a tiefling, and I am. Um, I was raised in a 
noble family. Yep. And I had very strict parents that sent me off to the military to complete uh, my father's work, probably. Um, in the military, I was a lieutenant. Mm-hmm. Lieutenant, and um, during my time, I um, accidentally um, learned information that I was not supposed to learn from a uh, someone above me because I don't have the best control of my powers yet. I was then banished and brought to Aviel, right? Mm-hmm. From t- I was originally in Tarek, then I was banished to Aviel. Um, I am. Adorable and spunky, and I will mind rape you. <laughs> and done, Joey. Oh no. I thought we were going this way around the table. Well, you can't follow that? No. <laughs> it's already happened. <laughs> is it really me? It is really you. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> this is what the ukulele is for. Like the ukulele is going to Right, right, right. Distraction. <laughs> I forgot you could, that. You could be uh-huh. That's all it is. Audio engineer, no, well, be careful with that near the microphone. Uh, sorry, right. I'm so sorry. <laughs> this is a nice sound. Well, uh, once upon a time, I was Lord Chomwell of East Allentown. Now, East Allentown is not a real place, and uh, he, Lord Chomwell is not a lord. But uh, he gave himself these titles as to hope to con uh, the people around him, and he was conning people and uh, enough in uh, a certain... Uh, demon god got really mad at him for conning people and so he cursed him with a ferocious uh, hulking transformation when he gets too uh, stressed out, too angry and uh, he could transform into this hulking creature which some of you have, uh, <laughs> have, have dabbled with in the past And uh, but more recently um, something happened and he lost his memory Lord Chomwell dun, currently dun, dun, doesn't dun. know who he is, but he has some some faint memories. You know, he sees people, they look familiar. Um, he's not really sure where he's going in this adventure. Okay. Is this just like the, Sounds the, the, like the, the judge plea? Superhero. Like, oh, jeez, man, I don't even know. <laughs> yeah, I don't even know. It's so strange. I'm, I'm not that guy. Yeah. yeah. How strange would it be for Lord Chomwell not to have a real past? It's got to be so... So, uh, yeah, I just wanted him to be as confused as I am. and, uh, <laughs> and uh, So he has a Relatable. Yes, Relatable. Yeah, so uh, currently he is in uh, the town of uh, Av- Aviel. Got there. Cool. All right. Thank you. Aviel. Yeah, he's, uh, yeah he's, just, uh, he's just puttering around trying to figure out who he is. He's got this great hat. Um, <laughs> so he figures, you know, something with that, he was probably someone really cool. But he doesn't know. <clears throat> That's as far as I got. Is that good? Did I do it? All right. <laughs> you got it all. All right. Uh, my turn. Um, <clears throat> see here, I am playing Lyrum Quill. Uh, he is a fetchling. Um, he is a gunslinger that uses a crossbow. Um, his, uh, I guess... Altered ego is uh, he said the it. revenant. He said it. <laughs> yeah. um, so his backstory is uh, he's from the shadow plane. Um, him and his brother came from the shadow plane to the material plane, um, settled down, got a bookstore, but then eventually his brother got kidnapped by some demons, and so now he's kind of on a quest to try and find his brother while also making the city a better place. Will you move your microphone closer to you? There are two recorders. You're not plugged into theirs. Oh, I'm not plugged into theirs? No. Oh, we'll that makes sense. Never mind. You can't stand by the door making some noises. <laughs> That's uh, me. That's I, I'm an excellent yes, voice actor. Yes, you need to go out that way. <laughs> yeah, I know. I can get out of the way. Yeah, you should can hang I, Should I wait for that to occur? Yeah, let's, let's see. Let's, let's see what's going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> There's there there are rules for this. There's I I can't even express how janky this current setup is in real life, and I think it looks great. It looks amazing. <laughs> it's really yeah. good. Top ten janks. Top ten It's right here, John. So, uh, which one? Should I, I introduce one. myself as my other character? Because uh, I don't for have a moment. Go ahead. Did you give us both? Give you Just both. Talk to I didn't give you both. Like uh, yeah, that's that's good for you, but okay. Like uh, go ahead and like uh, tie us a nice bow on on Mac. Uh, Mac's dead, and I killed him. No, uh... <laughs> <laughs> uh I was stretching. Mac, um, 
Mac it's probably intense. retired, all things considered. Mac was um, getting on in age to begin with. Uh, I guess for those of you who uh, don't know, my old character was, uh, I think, Mac Oakstout. I think was his name. He was a, a rat folk ninja. And uh, he was already pretty old when he uh, joined this motley crew of youngsters. So uh, he kind of just, he kind of, I think he just wants to hang out in the brewery that he legally owns in the decent part of town. Oh, yeah. So... Um, he may return. That's up to this this guy over here. But um, he's not dead. He's fine. He's just very tired. So he's dead. Am he's I dead. Wrong? Oh. Wasn't there like a way to get to our base through his bar or something? You will yeah. find it as we go back through this. There are ways to get to your, to your base. Open from the garage. Everywhere. Right. Okay. For a second. Yep. No, it'll be all right. Just close the door before you open it. But uh. Yeah, I mean, he's fine. He's around. We can go to his bar. He probably gives out too many coupons still. I think that was the one thing I remember him doing constantly. Uh, my new character... Do you want me to introduce my new character? Or yeah, wait? go ahead. I mean, well, yeah, go ahead and introduce him. He's not around yet, yeah. but we will get to him, and it's not that big. I, mean, I don't have, like, a, a shocking surprise like it was y'all's sister. Surprise! <laughs> it's Mac 2. It's... Uh, um, <laughs> I've tricked Mac you all. and me. Mac and cheese. Okay. Um, <laughs> nice. So uh, my new character is uh, Jasper Lamra, who is a drow horticulturalist. Mm -hmm. um, they're here to do medical work. That's pretty much it. They've always had an interest in plants pretty much growing up their whole life. And they went to MAL because they heard it had a wonderful healers program. And as it turns out, it does. It's just a little bit prejudiced on not healing tieflings. Uh, so that's great. So... I'm a bit of a renegade pharmacist, in a sense. <laughs> um, those who are less well-to-do, I go and take care of them and things like that. So I'm like a doctor that uh, does house calls, except even if you don't have a house. I can do alley calls, too. So. <laughs> when we were discussing this character, I didn't realize how much it made you sound like a, a weed dealer with great PR. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, not... like delivering pallets of ibuprofen or something. I mean... I don't deal weed. I deal actual, like, potions and, like, healing remedies. But I probably know a guy. So I don't medicinal know. weed. <laughs> yes. That's, that's, no, that's, that's, all, that's all on the table. Medicinal <laughs> weed, absolutely not. Whatever the Aviellian, Aviellian equivalent of medicinal weed is. It's weed. Okay. It's weed. <laughs> sure. Cannabis but, uh, it's that's not That's not the entirety of my character. He's, like, when I say when I say horticulture, I mean, like, magical plants. Like, I can actually grow. Like weed? I'm sorry. Sure. I'm so sorry. It's super weed. It's, yeah. oh, yes. it's a new development. Some of the magic plant? Cheese. Magical. I could have an interview tomorrow, and I don't know. So. It does sound like All weed. righty. Um, that's great. Thank you all for doing that. That's a good jog of the memory. Um, before we get started, uh, so I'm going to lay out four things that happened in the last 25 hours of footage that you need to care about. And that's it. If you want to care about something else, please go ahead and bring it up. But if you don't, I won't remember. So for anyone watching, don't bother going and watching the other episodes. You don't have to do it. You don't have to. Don't I mean, visit I, that upon yourself. There's, there's some good jokes in there, I think. I made at least one good joke. It may have been trying <laughs> to put those up on YouTube. I don't know. Um, so, uh, as a reminder here, uh, or as new information, we said that the continent of Ralkeen is like a, a dragon toothy kind of shape. I'm presuming that the, the image is going to be right here with my fingers tracing it. Um, you but, presume I'm going to edit this way more than I am? No, no, no. It's going to be there. I know. It. My, my force of will will make this happen. Just you wait till I get a, There's a section in this game with 18 different flags in it, and you're going to paste each one on each little... Uh, oh, no. And then we're going to do the, the, the fingers on each hand. Okay. So, we have this dragon tooth shaped continent. Uh, Aviel's at the top. At the bottom middle-ish, there is a city called Tarek, which is where Caprice is from. Uh, Aviel is a city founded by and ruled by Asimar, uh, divinely blooded creatures. It's kind of like, they've got that whole, like, spiritual goodwill thing going on, flourishing, and uh, because they've been blessed by the Imperial Lords, like the, the higher-up angels, they, uh, they have this sort of, like, bounty flowing. Um, right in the middle of the continent, there's a spot called the Caldera, which is like a half-mile wide, perfect disc that is just missing from the ground. Just a hundred feet straight down, sheer-sided crater. Um, and it is a thin spot in the material plane where uh, the abyss is starting to leak through. The chaotic evil plane, right? So, Tarek deals with that. Tarek is basically just sort of a fortified military camp city. Um, they have a kind of a military dictatorial rule by necessity. And they've got all this abyssal energy leaking through, which is why their tieflings just popping up all over the place. So, this is where the uh, 
the tiefling predators you mentioned come from. The, uh, these guys out here in the in the fields doing the actual like demon slaying work. And then Aviel's like, yeah, but just keep it over there. All right. Um, so that's important because of the very first and most important thing that happened. Y'all were all just regular old citizens of Aviel, just doing your regular old things, blacksmithing, um, bureaucrating, mind raping. <laughs> <laughs> We can't. Oh my god. <laughs> it's like, oh, can't say Paizo, <laughs> Paizo did not port over it, but people used to get in trouble on the Paizo boards for just linking to the spell, and they're like, okay, I guess we kind of if, let that happen. If you knew my spells, that's exactly what you would call it. Yeah, right. absolutely. Spells well, just don't say it out loud. So. <laughs> right, girl, what's your alignment? <laughs> we see your alignment, Whoa. alignment police. I'm probably yeah. lawful yeah. neutral. Ken, you are a goober, you know that? Chaotic good. Not chaotic good if you mind it. It's on your people. sheet, actually. You get to decide. It's not on your sheet. It's about how, how you play. So <laughs> it's true. figure it out soon. It says also so, as a vigilante, you neutral to good or chaotic which, uh, neutral. Yeah, I, think, I mean, you're good. at least neutral good right now. So Yeah, that's But So right. we had this problem in Aviel. Um, uh, there is a it. judgmental <laughs> general from Tarek, who is in town, named Constantius Scrim. They called him Scrim because he was always sitting there with Scrimshaw looking bored, just sort of whittling away at it. Um, and he was Caprice's uncle. And the one that she stole a bunch of information from, and he was not particularly happy to be in Aviel. He hates being in Aviel. And so everybody's kind of like, why is he in Aviel? Why is he in Aviel? There was something going on in the caldera. It was acting up. There were fishy things that going on in a place that shouldn't have fish. And so uh, he and Excelsior gathered a group of people who happened to have been really helpful that day. Uh, uh, Owen here reinforced a, uh, a structure that Excelsior bounced off of. Um, uh, uh, Mac had slapped... Scrim in the face. Did I? Yeah, he did actually. He just kind of like gave him a critical back pat and he just like. He deserved. Oh, like, I, remember I remember critical that. back pat. Yeah, I do so, um, I don't, I don't know why he let you come. It wasn't that he, you probably shouldn't have been on that boat. Did anyway. I do that? Yeah. I remember the words critical back pat. I thought I did but that, I that to half. Why. I thought I did that to do two drunk halflings, not Oh, no, you the did. Because right, then, then Satan, Mr. Clean, leans in with the thumbs up. That's right. Yeah, yeah okay. I, 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 didn't, I didn't attack a general. I forgot about Satan. Okay, I might need to go rewatch the old Right, yeah. So, anyway. All these people were helpful, or at least just wanted to be helpful, so they all shipped out to go see what was up in the thinnest place in the world to hell. Um, sorry, it's the abyss, not actually that hell is somewhere else. Anyway, um, when they got there, after a few tiny little bumps in the road, like um, being attacked by swarms of locusts and incorporeal shade creatures, uh, they found out that Scrim had played them all and was trying to funnel the energy of the caldera into himself and gain ultimate power. Um, and he was mostly doing it. He was, like, gigantic, and he was, I think, trying to summon a Baylor. And uh, Excelsior was going at it full bore, like she does, um, but he was just a little bit too above her level, and he ends up grabbing her out of the air and snapping off her arm, mm -hmm. completely taking her out of the game. Then you guys show up, and uh, he had this set, set up with, like, a... The two lieutenants that Excelsior always had hanging around, uh, Jacques and Davy, um, were being used to sort of power this force field that was keeping him uh, uh, funneling energy correctly. And so uh, you had to make a choice, and I believe Lyrum shot poor Jacques, saving a ton of life, but taking his. And Scrim uh, screamed something you know, giant and bellowing, and then fell through the earth into the middle of the caldera, and was never seen from again. My uncle. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Wait, were we tied, or...? <laughs> Very much not. Yeah, okay. that was... Never mind. I don't think y'all had, like, a pleasant moment together, ever. So... My uh, unks. Um... That's how I speak. <laughs> my uncle? <laughs> Go, uncle, that... Yeah. Anyway. Has anyone ever said unks before? I'm really upset about that. <laughs> I was trying to just let no, it that slide. Word, not that every single it. person in the world has said everything. it twice. I'm sorry. <laughs> everyone has thought about saying it. Can you please no, never that, that in the edit? That. Hey, what happened unks. to Dave? Oh, we got a bad case of the unks. <laughs> <laughs> what have I done? <laughs> so. This is just a tub of cantaloupe over here. Yum. Events two. The only uh, two of four events worth considering. Um... <laughs> that was the big one. Y'all sure like, uh, okay. um, were sent on a contract as, after you being hired as the new defenders of Aviel because Excelsior couldn't do the job anymore because she was uh, disarmed. Uh, yeah. um, she instead switched to an administrative role and went with that, uh, attacked that with just as much vigor as if it were Scrim. And so she's uh, currently set up in her little watchtower just trying to like 
organize the hell out of everything that's going on um, mm-hmm. to make up for the fact that she can't do the fighting anymore. But that's y'all's job now. So y'all got sent to go rescue a prisoner. Um, except that it wasn't really a prisoner. It was really a guy pretending to be a prisoner as a really long, complicated form of job interview that ended up dragging you all all the way up and all the way down, Aviel. Um, and you passed. You passed the job interview. You just all hated the guy. It turns out the guy was Willick Demancy, who is the leader of the Shepherds, which is that line of assassins we're talking about. So maybe you had like a bias there. You should try and re-examine that. It was a good job. I don't remember any of this. Was I not around? You may not have been you around. Weren't, you weren't there. Was you weren't there. that one? No. Wait, no, she wasn't. I had a job. Yeah, well, you only missed like the one. Actually, I missed I think two. That was, I think that was the one that she missed, because I remember that was a very weird one, because we had to break into a bar, and I handed someone a coin and it killed them. <laughs> I don't remember that at all, so... <laughs> uh, okay, it did, I think I it knocked say, them that out. That sounds mildly familiar. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, like, one thing is, like, you, you dropped off halfway through the middle, because yeah. that's how we started your one shot, was just, uh, like, you get literally kidnapped in the middle of a marketplace. Like, we, do you Max remember the, just turns around and you're gone. Do you remember the really busy bar where the guy was, like, literally going in a circle taking money from people, and then I, and then I gave him a high five, and he was like... Oh! Because that's all I remember from that session. I actually watched these videos. I, keep going, keep going. Yeah. All right, so oh, the next thing that happened is you turned the media against you and you're hated by everyone. Do you remember that? All of us? Yes, all I'm of you. I'm not hated by... I'm sorry. Well, actually, so that's the other thing, important thing. Vigilante. So we are, uh, uh, we are all playing gestalt classes, which means that every single level these guys take both a class in whatever and one class in vigilante at the exact same time. They just take the higher bonuses from both and they get all the class features from both. So they all have the ability to switch between personas and a bunch of other class stuff on top of that. So, really, which one of you does the media hate? That's the question you probably need to figure out really, really fast. Because the last time we left off, y'all just gotten back um, from a, like burning down the compound of the, uh, the, the Coastal Coronet, um, which is a newspaper of... Um, questionable authority, but definitely not questionable business practices. You don't, they're, they're just bad. Um, so, uh, y'all are headlines. They are good. And then, were there two more topical. events after that? Because I, <laughs> I thought I remember that being the last thing that happened. There is one more event after okay. that. The one more event that happened after that was kind of at a loss, and uh, without some of the party members needed to make this work, uh, some of you decided to go exploring under sort of like the uh, the dock area, um, and mm. uh, somebody made some choices. Specifically, Liram Quill, that is the Revenant, that is Jeffrey Neely, looked at an <laughs> entire ocean full of boiling, bubbling, putrid water that was it just smelled like a three-day-old grave. And went, I'm going to jump into that. I remember, I remember that very this. well. I asked him, you could stop still. You haven't jumped yet. He's like, you can just turn that into a roll and you're just kind of like, no, I'm going for it. So. Jeffrey, you shot a, jo- a dog and then jumped into a muck puddle. <laughs> I saved dog? so many lives and I wanted to see what was under the water. Oh, what should've... was under the water was pain. And that was it. <laughs> so. Was pain. <laughs> Um, this is very relatable. So, since then, I never should. y'all have just been hanging around at your watchtower, which is called the Aegis, by the way. Um, it's a giant, ten-foot-tall statue of a knight holding a big shield in front of itself, um, and it is located right on the edge of the caldera. Like it's like a, like which it's edge? Lirum Quill ready to just jump straight in. Uh, it's, uh, <laughs> which edge, like the water edge, or? <laughs> the, the caldera is just a big circle, so it doesn't matter. So it's just a big pit. I was right. hoping this part there would is be a, canon, but oh, this is very, apparently Ian is This is very, said very canon. Didn't so. so. you get like um, four different tiers of disease or something from jumping into the sun? you should mention. So, God uh, dang uh, it! Uh, <laughs> what you have to... I y'all waiting to see if Lirum Quill will survive. You just been kind of hanging around the clubhouse, going like, "Is it, is it all right?" Do we have a healer? No, I mean no. don't. <laughs> but so we are going to start off with our first roll of the game. Uh, <laughs> Phil, I would like you to make a Constitution saving throw. Can you give me a fort save, please? We start oh. off at the muck puddle. No, no, we're still back. He's, he's still making fort saves. It's okay. Two days later in the hospital bed. And so this is <laughs> this is a roll plus my con mod. Uh, it's fortitude save. It's a fortitude, oh, save. fortitude save. There should be a fort box in the middle on the left. Yeah. Uh, so. The the to- the fort total. Mm-hmm. Okay. God. Nice. I would like everyone to take note that Jeffrey, the first die rolled for this new session of the new season, is a natural one. 
on his fortitution save. Fortitude. Liram Krull just bites it. That's. Oh, God. Okay. Wow. You can play his Mac. But, so, <laughs> <laughs> you can play his Mac. So, Liram, you're not window. doing so hot. Okay. Actually, you're doing hot and cold and kind of wibbly in the between. No. It is difficult to describe the amount of discomfort that is coursing through your every cell. Uh, it could be uh, just one at a time, but it's not. It's all of them. And like, not in like the way it's like, I guess I just can't feel anything anymore. They, they amplify and bounce off of each other. Every cell is like an orchestra of different displeasance. Uh, you have <laughs> necrocutiwiphilus, and it sucks. <clears throat> so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Excelsior uh, is standing over the bed. Looking at him. Oh, I forgot she's still alive. She is. Yeah. <laughs> if you she lose an arm doesn't mean you die. Yeah, I thought I she mean, died. That often, depends a uh, lot on which era of time you okay, live in. Right. This isn't the Civil As War. As it happens, she teleported and landed on top of Chamwell, who then very kindly raced her up uh, 20 stories of stairs okay. and then dumped her in a, a pit of fire. But that was good. She wanted that. So. Oh. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's right. She did want that. Yeah. Anyway, that was she made weird. it. That was uh, weird. She doesn't like the name Excelsior anymore because she feels like she's not winning it. She says her name's Talia, but. I don't think anybody's called it that yet. So she's standing over the bed, still trying to do hands on hip, even though it's just hand on hip. She's kind of frowning and goes, you just jumped right into the trash juice? Why? And so y'all... Am I there? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Um, all assembled, she turns back and says, so I think we need to do something about him. I think it's probably time to go take this to uh, somebody who knows. And I think I have a few... She pulls out a Rolodex like full of doctors and maybe and then at that moment uh, uh, the door bursts open and in zips Davy who is a Larakian Azana she's about this big she's very very feisty and very very disorganized and right now it looks like that's exactly what she needs she just comes in yelling they're here they saw the headlines they're here right here at our clubhouse they aren't supposed to get here but they're trying to attack us right now so like why what did y'all guys do how did you do this who? Who's what? Here? Who's they? Who's the they the, everybody who read the newspaper headlines. Oh my god. Oh, the people? And the people of the town. They're the only thing. You don't have to deal with the government. You don't have to deal with the bad guy. You just gotta make sure they don't hate you. And they do. So now we've got a right. I said, we. Is there a bed? The way out? <laughs> uh, uh, Excelsior is already, already on it. Like, well, that just accelerates our plans. That's fine. The good news is that means there won't be any de- anybody in town, so the traffic should be light. She just throws open a broom closet and says, "Everybody in there right now!" And she just, uh, with her one arm, lo- hoists Lyrum Quill up and hands him to Owen. Where is my armor? Where would you like your armor to be? Ideally, on me. <laughs> <laughs> You're a man who enjoys the uh, the, the the severe process of sitting in metal. It makes you feel... At yeah, this exact moment, it would, it be, builds it character. would be the best More like it, it, uh, it prevents you from having to build another character, so we're good. Yeah, <laughs> you are doing an endurance test. You are in the armor, and now you have Lyrum Quill on top of you, which All right. he's wasted like, way, like half <laughs> of his up. body mass. Please, um, somebody kill me! I uh, would love to, but right now we're going to head through that door. <laughs> <laughs> the broom You're not closet. quite like at talking level. Like You can open your mouth and sounds come out, but they aren't... Like he said, save his life. So, uh, trying to figure out what to do about the mob. Uh, y'all are specifically not trying to do anything about the mob. They're here at the tower, and y'all will be zipping back to Aviel. It's about a day's uh, journey away. Um, Pretty sure Sparkle Queen could address the mob. I know. I was like, I, I kind of want to do some PR, guys. What do you think? Don't we have a secret hatch? I think she's the right one. I don't want to be left. Uh, Excelsior takes it. No, you do not want to do this. This is not the time. Afterwards, after we've dealt with them, then you address them all. How are you going to deal with and them? And then she just not pushes by talking you. to them. What? And you are through the, the broom closet. Rude. Um, <laughs> powerful. And the broom closet is a secret hatch to your tavern? Let's see where it's a secret hatch to today. Oh. Is it like a magic it, portal? Or it is it like a yeah, it's just like... Or, okay. Oh. I had an elaborate I think, I think um, just uh, description I used for it every single time we last we time, but I didn't bother watching we to went, figure out what it was, so... We went to, like, the, the back door of, like, a random, like, dirt pub at yeah. one point, and they were like, what are you guys doing in my closet? <laughs> <laughs> right. They're just, like, so, portals around town, right? Like, from the game. Are they all in closets? <laughs> rolling out of the closet of the Bright oh Spear Inn. Is this a metal? Okay, which right, is okay. in the churchyard, which is the lowest... And most outermost uh, district of uh, of Abiel. it used to be um, the, the first cathedral district of the city. And this time, after you over time, you what you're in the Bright Spear Inn in the churchyard. 
all the churches moved up the hill where it's nice and sunny and beacony and that left all these cheap buildings so a bunch of bars and inns bought them up and now every church down here is a party um, <laughs> cool eye and as it happens y'all tumble through what looks like was a party but now it's deserted there's nobody here they're all up at the they're all rioting they're all rioting <laughs> <laughs> right before you left Excelsior mentioned I know exactly where you need to go you just have to follow these three flags are you ready? Are you ready? Mango, peach, wildflower. And go to the rat's burrow. You're good. It's the best doctor you'll ever meet. Go. Um, and so now y'all are just kind of tumbled on the floor of a deserted inn. Uh, there's a... Where do we end up? We're just... We're just uh, we're just so I immediately start looking for and like an open... <laughs> we're in a church? Yeah, we're in it a was inn. a church. There was a church. We went through a secret passage in a church, and now we're in an inn? Yeah, we're, you went through the the a magic portal into a, an, an inn. inn that used to be a church, ah. in the churchyard, oh. which used to be old churches. Wait, but so we're not in the inn. We're You're in an, an inn. inn. You're in an inn. We're in an inn. But you tumbled out of a closet into an inn. Okay. Who's so. on first? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> okay. What is a wildflower flag? I don't know. Mango? That's like a purple, right? Mangoes. Really? Are these colors are <laughs> and have the thing all... What do we do about this... Sack potatoes right here. I Maybe get... true love's kiss. Why did you have to give us instructions? I'll in give it a shot. <laughs> <laughs> Can I, like, roll to figure out what she was talking about? Sure. You got knowledge local? I do have knowledge local. Go for it. Did you, What did she tell us to do again? She told us to follow so flags. Three three flags. Follow three flags. Mango, peach, and wildflower. Okay. Flower. To get to somewhere, I guess. If I look back, can I see that you just threw the closet, or okay, is it just nope. it's just a closet, just a closet now? Yep. Wait, so I'm not here right now. Right? You're like, not here right now. Like, like don't worry, not I even not even Ratman is here. <laughs> I have a job for you. One second. Thanks. Okay. All right. I'm it's to wait for the job. You are here. Yes, yes. you're oh, not heels. the man you used to be, but the man you used to be never existed. So yes, wait, so I have. I have a heel. You're, you're just you're skilled. Sure. Yeah. You don't have to remember anything if you don't want. Is that better? I don't. How do we explain? How did I lose my mind? I'm you, just, you, you just hit your head. Don't let me touch Darn. it. So I, you, you, had to, you put the hat up on the dresser yeah, right. where it looked all nice, and then okay. you fell, and it just... So it as if this there. wasn't enough, we fall through the closet, and I sit up, and I go, just, who am I? Who are you guys? <laughs> you just slam your head yeah, on the floor on the way. <laughs> <laughs> That's collaborative storytelling. Did, so, you, uh, did you roll? I did. I rolled who are a 16, you people? and I What's rolled a 16. What's wrong with this guy? You rolled a 16, you got plus 4, 20. So, hello. You guys are so close. <laughs> also, real quick, so we know you are hood up at the moment in your yeah, armor. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the what is the mask. status of the rest of y'all? Like, y'all, you are... Nobody's going to recognize you as anything. I don't know who I am. I don't know who these people are. I know this is my husband, though. You're not... Thanks. She told me. You're good. Okay. Don't start. You don't need... That, that, why do you have to do that even when you're not, like, using your powers? You just have to mess with people? No, what? They clearly love each other. Are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> am I okay? There's who, some, who I am put him I? down. <laughs> <laughs> Have you noticed there's something wrong with your husband? We should be taking some action to uh, heal him in some way. Yes, let's Take fix my husband. Doctor. He's a very charismatic, eccentric, outgoing type. Too bad he's sick. But once he's healed, I'm sure he'll be back. Let's give a it seems like you guys already jumped ahead to bothering this guy, and I don't even. Does, is, did we just skip the part where he seemed to have gotten a concussion or something? Oh, he's okay joking. With that? He's joking. You're joking, right? Is Who's he? a joke? I'm joke. You're joke. You're joking. Uh, my name's joke. No, you're not no. joke. <laughs> you're joke. I'm not joke. Who are you? What is wrong with you people? Um, I can I just think he slammed his head to my armor on the <laughs> way out. I don't know if he's alright. Has your armor ever done anyone any favors? It's just me a lot. <laughs> just slowly coming out of the top of my hat. My, <laughs> just the cartoon <laughs> ball. The cartoon <laughs> ball. Okay, what's the last thing Push you remember? Down. <laughs> last thing you remember. Anything? No. Nothing. Yes, I remember you. Great. I remember my husband. Yes. <laughs> but that's because you told me. Okay. So you don't remember. No. You just believe me. Yes. <clears throat> Who do you think you are? Oh, wait. Hit him, a, hit him in the head again. All right. <laughs> maybe, it'll, maybe it'll jog it back. I'm going to hit him in the head. Uh, uh, Would you like to roll for it? You don't have to. But just as a reminder, didn't you elbow someone to death <laughs> once? I'm going to hit him in the head lightly. <laughs> Didn't you also try to fall on someone lightly once and kill them? 19. <laughs> no. You fish don't have 19 crit multiplier, do they? Because that'd be great. But you hit? No. I'm pretty sure. I don't know what your AC is, but I think... 
I think it's counts as uh, flat-footed. My AC is 15. Just gonna give it a little bit of a jog. Yeah. 14. If you want, yeah, you can even make that, that non-lethal by taking the minus four. I will, I, I, as, as a reminder from last time, the only thing I do remember, all of my attacks will be non-lethal unless I say otherwise. Gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> so just, I'll just subtract the minus four. So, okay. well, you just, fist, they're fine, yeah. So um, you hit me in the head. My fists are actually 1d6. And I just, like, giggle and then fall over. <laughs> <laughs> Great. In the meantime, uh, Aurora, you have uh, remembered that there are a bunch of flags hanging around a little some windy set of alleys uh, it's not really even a neighborhood. It is a set of formalized lean-tos. Um, if anything can be called Ratsboro, it's definitely that. It's just up against the wooden gate, the outer wall of Abiel, uh, not too far from where you are. Okay. Um, now you've injured both of them, it's even more important now to go find a healer. He was already and injured. I, I, I've just... I've, I've, I've remembered that there are a bunch of uh, little shacks on the side of a wall. I explained what you explained. And we need to take them there in order to get them a proper treatment. Is that what we're looking for? A healer? Yes. He's oh. dying. <laughs> you know, he need, what do you think he needs no, right now? You think he needs a snack? No, you think no. he needs a glass of wine? Well. I think we could all use a glass of wine. I'm sorry, I'm a little stressed right now. You were, you were starting to hear voices in your head. Just like slow and low buzzing. It's kind of like a like almost like a hymn, but like a hymn that's just like, oh my mm, God. you're not gonna make it. <laughs> you just pick him up. I'll get them both. Him just lead us where we need Let's to go. go. I'm gonna pick, pick up both of them. Just have something. one over each shoulder. Mm. Nice. All right. That'll I'm work. awake. I'm just <laughs> just <laughs> chilling. Okay. I'm gonna look around the inn for things okay. to loot. Okay. <laughs> there is so much to loot. What's your what's your preference? Loot. You want to loot? I don't know. I've never looted before. Wow! <laughs> I just remember someone told me to do that once. Uh, yeah, I feel so how much money right now. <laughs> how much money do they have? You go uh, roll a perception check. Me. <clears throat> One dollar. I'm, I'm at how much money do we have? Oh, how much I money do you yeah. have? It's like uh, you got more than this place does probably. I think y'all are sitting around five hundred gold each somewhere. Okay, that's not uh, bad. Okay, I actually kind of specifically shopping. want to check for um, potion, health potion. Health potion. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, what's your roll? Can I do it again? <laughs> <laughs> that no. was looking for money. Oh, it's <laughs> <laughs> Jeffrey, your dice suck. Get it I mean, obviously, me. yes. Get it away. I just tell you this, uh, you find one. Great. Uh, I'll you know. take it. Okay. Uh, are there more? What, where? No, just the one. <laughs> Great. Here, I found a health potion. How? Not sponsored. I don't recommend drinking that. <laughs> Why, where was the... This place had a health potion? It looks like a health potion. I looked... It, it, vaguely, it's like bread. How much of a reason do I have what to trust her assessment of the health potion? I, can I, I can I pick it up and look and see if it's health potion? You want to pick, trust her? Okay. Um, I spellcraft. You got spellcraft, right? Yes, I do. Get your dice away from yes. me, you disgusting monster. Mm, I rolled a thirteen with a plus five. Thirteen. Okay, so it's some. Um, uh, I, I think it, it used to be cheese. And then it like fermented into a cheese alcohol that then like solidified, broke down again, and it sounded like double cheese ale. Um, so so that's it's being, not a health potion. That's been kind of flowery about it. Still, it's still it is like perhaps the grossest thing you have ever touched. Yeah, that's a health potion. Okay. Yeah, it's... Um, <laughs> I smell it and then throw it against the wall. <gasps> that would have done damage. That He's dying. Is, I would have let that be an acid flask. And that would have killed him. <laughs> I'm well, he probably would have appreciated it. you had the sense to ask me to smell it. No, That's all I can say about that. That's true. Yeah. Ladies, can um, you please. This is how I got to the top. Point in as which a direction to carry these two. I don't think it's the I feel like I'm dying. Problem here. Let's I just go. smell this okay. as well, I know, and right, it right. makes I do need me worse. I do need to lead. Okay, I go in front and I start rushing. Strangely, out. has anyone thought that he deserves almost this? Almost works. Yes. <laughs> you could you could swear for just a second, just one tiny second. You hear it's like a, and then it's a gun. <laughs> okay. Can we leave? I want to leave now. You can go leave. All right, y'all leave. I'm leaving. Y'all tumble out of the door open and just walk out. There are um, so many things to loot, though, and I only got a health potion. There is a man standing outside, packing a pipe. He's got an apron on, so he's probably the innkeeper. But you don't know. And he goes, Oi! That was like three days' work putting that door up. You were trying to hang the door. You're them! What you doing here? Hey! Hey, no, no, no. You're not in my end. Y'all get, get, get out. We're leaving. Good. That's what I'm, I'm glad. Stop talking to us. No, you stop talking to me. I don't like Can it. I just walk? I just yeah, walk that's what I meant. Yeah. I'm a follower. <laughs> Texting my end. That's what I do. Everyone else went to go fight and come in and bring me in. Get you out of my end. And I'm I trying to reach out and like shake his hand. And he is not taking it. What he is very. He is, it's not just he's not taking it. He is not doing well, it. Like he's actively not it. doing that. <laughs> he's not. Yeah, well, slide over your shoulders. <laughs> what does hypnotic stare do? 
It's, you stare at someone hypnotically. I believe it uh, makes you the target of your stare having minus two to their will save. Yeah, that's what activates your. You get to add a bunch of other powers right. on top of that and stuff. Okay, so it doesn't do anything inherently. It just. Oh, that's my. Save. That's my. That's my. When I do things, I think it I, debuffs I them by default, and then you also can stack right. things on top of it. Gotcha. That's the. Uh, let's talk about how lowering consent is also removing consent. Uh, stare. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Got it. Okay. Never mind. Just okay. Needed to know. Um, as you walk through the streets, <coughs> you see there are still some stragglers. Um, Maybe doing some uh, recreational price-free shopping at the various institutions that have been abandoned. Um, and two of one, they all stop and stare, minimum. And then there's one guy. One guy and his, 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 his like slightly smaller friend kind of br- like braggered up. You don't know if they're always this kind of like this way or maybe they're just like really feeling that they're like, y'all are what's wrong with this country. You know that? Y'all are everything is wrong. Y'all just need to leave and then... What bad is left? We're trying to leave. Stop talking to us. Fair. And he walks away. (laughs) 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 Have we found a flag yet? We're heading towards flags? You do feel a rock bounce off the back of your head. (gasps) I make an obscene gesture. (gasps) Which one? Oh. Oh. Wow. Someone contain this woman. It's out of control. Heck, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> All, right, All right, so, so did we find the first you, you do, in fact, find Ratsboro, which, as I mentioned, is started as kind of more like, just like a ditch in the side by, by the wall. They just kind of built up some lean twos and they just built some lean twos on top of those lean twos. And there wasn't really much going for it besides being made of like broken crates. So you find that there are just flags everywhere. Everyone's got a flag hanging off of uh, their door. Some people have got two off these little pins. Um, it, is, it is a beautiful, brightly colored, lovely little area. And what do you do? Sorry, this is an inn? This is a, a row. It's like a neighborhood street, but it's really a ditch. Is this where the mango flag is? Supposedly. Okay, so we're looking for the flag. You can. I'm going to look for the flag. What was it? Peach, mango, or Mango, flower, peach, or... wildflower. Mm-hmm. I also would like to look for the flag. All right. Roll perception for me. Can I roll for vomit? You yeah, I got to roll for that one. That was... I, I vomit. <laughs> we got perception <laughs> vexilo- vexillology. <laughs> Okay, Honestly, I think you should I'm just sit I'm going to make you polish my armor when I'm done. When <laughs> I don't know what you're saying right now. <laughs> I don't want to keep an eye out for any other... You just see a horrible hot <laughs> train. Uh, 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 percep- Does it work? <laughs> I have a 16 perception. Okay. Yeah, 17, it worked. All right, and I rolled a 15 plus 7. All right. Okay. So y'all spend a good minute just kind of taking it all in. Uh, I mean, it's hard to find any one color in a crowd of, like, 80, right? And you kind of sort of, like, you just do the, the Where's Waldo scan. You do not see a single mango flag. Anywhere. Can I specifically look out just for any threats? Not any... so much of the flags, I'm leaving that to them. I just want to see if there's anybody that seems like they want to do us harm in the general area. Sure. What you do find is, um, if, there, if you want to be moving forward, like, if you have to go down a path... It's really just kind of, it's mostly like a cul-de-sac, and there's only like, there's one sort of area you gotta go, and each uh, possible little uh, avenue or, and nook or crown you could take has a flag next to it. Um, they aren't mango flags. What color are they? Great question. Let me show you. Nope. Oh. oh. Incoming. Picture. Picture. Technology. I'll let you down. I'm not gonna like resist or anything. <laughs> All right. I just start looking <laughs> in windows to, and like. To confuse boy. I have a, I have a slight tall. question while you're sending at this text, mm-hmm. Ian. Does this imply that I healed Talia from her gaping arm wound? Or was that the fountain? That was definitely the fountain, okay. but I think you, I mean, you were probably responsible for the lack of scars somewhere because you did good work. Cool. Your pen has some type of magnetic in it. Eh? It sticks to my magnet on my keyboard. Oh, uh, yeah, that's the metal. metal. It doesn't work with all metal. Works with that metal. Well, no, no, no. Probably it not all the keyboard metal. is probably magnetic. magnet. It is. No. Pen is the pen has probably iron in it. Oh, oh, oh I know. I thought you were saying the pen was magnetic, and I was like, eh. well, so the pen has something. Lyrum. Pen has metal. I would. Uh, I also have a, I have a bunch of metal on me. Right. It doesn't right. Aluminum. How do you feel uh, about it's aluminum. aluminum? Aluminum's not. Okay, Lyrum, I'm going to make your day a little bit worse. You have not been unconscious this whole time. Oh. In fact, you've been unconscious since you jumped in the trash juice. You have been very awake. 
Oh. And you've been reliving the same sort of awful dream where you're just wandering around in a maze. Just oh, so this is like one of those video game, like, The, the walls are like absolutely pure sparkling white. You can almost not even see where to turn. It's like Max Payne. But it doesn't matter, because for the last three the days, cry. you've done nothing but feel every cell in your body vibrate backwards and walk through this maze. And just right now, at this exact moment, you are for the first time feeling something a little bit different, which is hearing somebody he say the name Para. Just enough for you to kind of recognize it. I do not like this. Mm -hmm. It is your brother. Hey, does anybody else hear this song? Hmm. Interesting. And suddenly, you kind of get this vague, possible little idea of an image in your head. But it's coming from really far away. It's coming through like several different layers. And you can't quite get it out in words. So here's what I'm going to tell you what we're going to do. Uh, Ethan, I'm going to send you a picture. I would like you to write down exactly one word that describes that picture and hand it to Jeffrey. Jeffrey, you can use one, one word to describe it to them, but not the same word. Oh, to us? So you describe the, so to I describe the, the word. I'm that... sending him a picture. He is going to take that picture, put it in one word, and you're going to use a different word to describe it to them. I will do my best. Okay. So, the word you so say I also see the picture? No. no, you can no. kind of vaguely feel the picture in your head, but it's 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 like through three layers of smoke. I see. It's like, like it's so really I describe his it's, word it's through me with yeah. my word. I'm the three layers. Of, oh, no. hey buddy, it's me, a patron. Three layers of smoke. How you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I, I got I got a message from the higher ups. I got a word. <laughs> it's coming in. It's, it's slow. It's going through all the trash juice that's built up in your system. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I, you ever heard of wheatgrass? <laughs> Why wasn't this your character? What? Why wasn't this your character? <laughs> what, three layers of trash smoke? <laughs> it's me, three layers of trash smoke Johnson. Oh my god. Oh, uh, okay. Um, so only one word? Only one word. One you word. can get one across one word to Liram. Liram, what is it, boy? It's a shame because... What are you feeling? Well, I can't describe it, but it's kind of a shame that... Where does it hurt, Liam? Mm -hmm. um, can you hear me? <laughs> Go Don't go to the light, Liram. To perception for looking for danger, just in case that comes up. <laughs> so danger is what you're seeing. We're seeing a lot of posturing. <laughs> like every Gross. five minutes or so, there's some new guy who's husband. like, "So what's up?" And he comes kind of like, <laughs> every time I see one, I do a little like. <laughs> oh, and they all fall just like straight. Like, you're on like three concussions at this point. You're just notching your your armor like got another. <laughs> Liram. Liram. What is it? What's wrong? Can you read that? Yeah. yeah. Kind of Why are you talking to him? He's unconscious. <clears throat> you can tell. He's, he, he's, he's trying. It's there. Something's gurgling really between the vomits. One of your mind things. Can you, like, tell? Spiral. What? Told you. Spiral. He wants a churro. <laughs> What's a churro? Like it's a, a the churro card right over here. Let's shake him a little bit. Can give us a little more than that? Don't shake it. No, I don't want a churro anymore. Spiral. spiral, spiral. Can I roll to see if that means anything? There are some of the flags around here have spirals on them. Oh, they do. How did I not notice? <laughs> I, I got the. Got oh the wait, flags. Wait. <laughs> Me too. Oh, you sent it in a group text. Oh. Okay. Um, do, uh, go grab a flag and wrap a minute or something. <laughs> See if it works. Let's go. Let's go to that. I, I want to walk to the thing with the spiral flag. Liram, is that sure. what you're seeing? Are you seeing yeah, this? Uh, you walk down the path to the, the spiral flag, um, and beyond it, you see it's just a tiny little sort of like a, a almost just a path through the weeds. This is really like does not meet code in so many ways. I just want to stress, Aviel expects better than this inside the walls. Just if you're a tourist, and you, anyway, uh, but this does sort of wrap around behind the house, and you see the path kind of like. Jags on a little bit further, and there's another kind of lane with a bunch more flags in it. Is Password. this the spiral? Um, uh, can I, like, do a perception check to see if I see anything wildflower-themed while I walk along the path? Absolutely. Mango peach wildflower-themed? Okay. Is it just all, is it all spiral flags down the second path? No, or is it still just a bunch totally of Totally different flags. Okay. I would also but it's like, the, none of these are like the flags you saw before. They're okay. a completely separate, separate and second set of flags. They spiral. themed their... It's the same as a mango here or something. Am I? I'm, I don't get out Mangos much. Mangoes have a pit. So do peaches. Wildflowers can grow in a pit. 
There's a kid at the bottom of a spiral. No, that's not right. You okay. Got this. You, got um, this. you got this. I'm very smart. Okay. Um, <laughs> let's see. I'm very smart. <laughs> uh, I rolled an eight, um, and I have plus seven. All right. So you do know something wildflower theme. It's wildflowers. They're real nice. None of them are on flags. Are any of them orange? One of them is orange. Can I pick it? Would you do that? Would yeah. you just, like... No, probably not. Never mind. Okay. Um, I think you would. Your outfit's covered in flowers. Liam, um, so. is that what you're looking at? I gotta swing his head over that way. Yep. <laughs> I heard <laughs> like, uh, his vomiting head towards the flag. His head really sort of like uh, uh, briefly almost focuses on a few more flags. No one described to me the back of my armor, please. <laughs> Don't want to know. No. <sighs> How do you feel about uh, chunk light tuna? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> decorate the front of the armor, too. Um, <laughs> talk? So we're in a neighborhood. These are all, like, residential yeah. homes. They are, they are residential homes, and each each one of these uh, flags is really close to, like, a little another alley you can go down. Well, three of the flags are near alleys you can go down. Okay. So nobody's paying attention Let's to Let's go down me. the spiral flag alley. You already done that. Oh, y'all, that's y'all, where we y'all went. are done gone past the spiral flag. Okay. Spiral flags What's in the past. There? Just wildflowers. These are the other flags that are next to options uh, you could walk down. Got it. So I was thinking, like, you know, nobody's paying attention to me, and I get kind of thirsty, and I have a bunch, like, I found a bag on me with all these potions, so I just pulled one out and took a swig. <laughs> so it, it could be my potion of invisibility, or... How many potions do you have? I have, uh... <laughs> Five plus other. Five plus other. Okay. Um, <laughs> What's the other? I don't know. Great. It's always great. <laughs> oh, I heard it. I heard another. Oh. Anything Once worse again, potion I'm a, flavor. So I just drink a potion of this. Barbecue flavor? Uh, the worst potion flavor. Okay. Oh. That is the worst potion flavor. That was the sixth, <laughs> the sixth potion on your list. That was other. Mm, I don't right. even know what it does. It's great. It's great. It's great. <laughs> Sweet. So I'm just I'm very hydrated. Just so. Once again, <laughs> you hear Alvin just kind of just softly kind of call across. And you know it's him because he still sounds a little bit annoyed. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, like you're getting, brother better. you kind of like feel like the, the, you understand the smell of, a, of the shape of a picture. Um, that smell you will be able to communicate in one word that is not the word you're about to receive. Crap. <laughs> All right. So which one of these flags looks like? Did a, you just turn invisible? What is it? What's the name? A pea? No, mango? Just uh, yeah. What, did we do? what was the first one? Mango. Mango. Mango, mango, mango peach, peach, now we're trying to find a peach. Does one of these flags look like a peach? Um, maybe the... That kind of looks the like red and blue one. They keep talking about these first ones. I'm just walking around drinking grapes saying mango, peach, wildflower. My hair is so much Can I use my knowledge to interpret the heraldry? You got knowledge ability? No. I do, I'll give it a shot. The problem is there's not really another word. That... There isn't. Yeah, yeah. I will Actually, do there, whatever she just said. I can't think of them. Um, You're just trying to hold assess on. the... Think of the, the I'm sure read the flags. Yeah, See if they, like, roll. someone has no a primate. <laughs> um, what are the two parts of Morse code? Is... Morse and code. And not natural Exactly. Yeah. All right. So, kind of funny, actually. All the flags in this okay. land are I I got one. taken from a conquered country, like... From a war like twenty years ago. The last Not, three you sent us. Well, all the flags in this particular lane. Okay. okay. Um, and there's no reason for that except they probably got them real cheap because nobody wants old flags. Um, that's your expert analysis. Wow. That's weird. All these flags are from uh, conquered countries. That's all. I don't know Does why they're. Do you recognize the countries as like the peach, the national fruit <laughs> of one of these things or something? Do I have knowledge <laughs> social studies? Can I roll that? Knowledge social Always. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not really sure what that's for, if not... It's, it's Ian combined it's history and a couple other things into social studies. History just and geography, geography became yeah. knowledge social studies. <laughs> okay, I got a 19. Role. Knowledge geography was a thing. That's such a... 19? Yeah, yeah, 19. Strange knowledge. <clears throat> Lines. Lines. Oh, thanks. He thanks, can man. see the flags. He can see the flags. Uh, the top one with the weird lily pad things has... Lines! He can see the... F- we need to go down that alley. Lines. I suppose we need to go down that that's alley. the most appropriate one. It also sort lines, of looks like peaches. But is it a spiral? Okay, I know that this is bad advice. You're a little advice. behind, buddy, just in general. This is bad advice, yeah. but we should listen to uh, the, the dying man? sick dying man. <laughs> Look, he's only saying one word somehow. It's very cryptic and mysterious. Let's just 
<laughs> yeah, why are we following what this guy butter? He could just be. Do you have any other ideas? He's this Give me I'm one trying other to vomit, but I'm not. It's just dry <laughs> eating. <laughs> I can't wait to get a more clear idea of what he's thinking. I am curious if he's going to be rolling like foot while he's trying to reveal anything. I'm going to read his mind. Oh. That's very... That's better. Great. <laughs> um, uh, so let's, let's push all of these out in, in order. Okay. The social studies uh, role, how, how, how is it? 19. 19. 19. Uh, you agree with her analysis. Sorry. These are all... Um, specific, it's kind of a famous thing. Like It was a really confusing war because both sides had like the same color flags going and, we're, and their armor was like... It was just kind of like a... Artistically, it was a mess. So there's a lot of artistic li- license taken in the paintings because you have to have like a blue orange side and an orange side for that cool video game look. Um, anyways, but once you just actually mush all the flags together, you can see like were they two all that different after all these two countries? What were they fighting over? That was your essay. So you don't know what their fruit is or anything. No, I apparently don't. Fair enough. What the country fruit is? Yeah. Um, what's this country's fruit? I don't know. Okay. Well, don't ask. Don't Why? question. It's it. the Avil uh, Mega. Um, What's that thing? What's that Said thing? Said God that from was, the sky. It's, from Greek. it's called the sun. <laughs> nope, hold on. What is the... Oh my goodness, my brain is not working. Olive. Still, it's the super olive. It's from Greek. <laughs> it's from Greek. Are you still trying to read Lyrum's mind? I am. Um, so... But back when he was seeing things. <laughs> if you like, you can make a will save against that. No, he can't. He sure can. He cannot. I'm not saying it's like... A, there's, there's some penalties involved. But uh, he's I'm gonna say since I don't know what's going on or anything, I probably would. All right, roll it. Okay, I'm gonna roll a one. This is great. <laughs> That's a good thing. What are you what rolling? Uh, we're he's rolling to resist your. Okay. How dare he can't do anything? Uh, that's gonna be a thirteen. Uh, All right, you're currently uh, your circumstance modifier is a minus twenty. So <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Great. So, so basically, <laughs> you could have rolled a seven. So, but that's <laughs> negative seven. So, tell me, uh, Liram, uh, today on your third day of pacing through this this white maze and uh, realizing that there are different, like, there are more than three directions axes that a cell can vibrate and uh, they can also get seasick on a molecular level. What are you thinking right now? Uh, that this really sucks. <laughs> I think that's fair. I, I appreciate your honesty, and that's what you hear. <laughs> <laughs> this really sucks. But I just want to point out, you really feel it for a second. Not not the illness, just like, it's just his emotion. It's, it's, pretty, it's pretty sad. It's not a good thing to feel. That's fine. Okay. What? He's upset. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't to elaborate at all on the lines? Or? No, no. All right. Whatever he does seem to, whatever seems to be impacting him, he does not care about at all. <laughs> so he's is he on the ground. Sick. Great. No, he's being carried. He's still being carried. Okay. I guess we'll keep caring about it for him. Yeah. Let's let's go down the path with the with the peach looking flag, with the lines. I just for for a moment, should we consider if this is worth it? Yes. Oh, are we doing that now? I thought we had already made that decision a while ago. Really That's why I've been letting this decision. guy vomit down my back. Okay. Well, since you you think he's worth it. I do not. Well, let's get the vomiting to stop and try our best, Oh, trust everyone. me, it's stopped. Nothing's coming up anymore. <laughs> You're wrong. <I'm> <laughs> <laughs> but wait, there's more. <laughs> you Bonus free, round here. Free app index me the hard way. Oh, no. Just Where did it come oh. from, though? Yeah, All right. Where did it come from? Well, despite the fact that uh, he doesn't care... He's saying at least one word every five minutes. Maybe we should just head that direction and see what happens. I am still yes, carrying please. him. It's worth it. All right, let's go down the lines Despite flag path. I'm just being really entertained watching these people, just following them around. You are not your priority number drink. one. <laughs> <laughs> you, guys so, uh, you keep drinking your grape juice, we'll get back to okay. you in a minute. <laughs> so give him grape juice. It was he a, gave himself I, grape juice. Can someone make sure he's not going to choke on that thing? <laughs> It was a grape potion. Let's not undersell it. Oh, sure. Like, he turned into a grape. It was the spell grape. <laughs> <laughs> it makes things taste like grape. Especially oh, the wow. potions. <laughs> so now I'm just licking my hand as I follow it. This is the worst spell. <laughs> Seeing how I delicious my This is. sounds amazing. I cast grape. So <laughs> as y'all go along down this path, the... um, you find, once again, it, you wouldn't really expect it to be like delicious. another set of uh, lean-to ramjackal apartments. And it's not really so much. Uh, it's just kind of like a cul-de-sac at the end, and you can just, but it's not, it's not really a street. It's more like just kind of a, a loose 
a line of houses. Each one of these houses has another flag on it. Um, and they call it kind of like the terrain sort of would, would, would spit you out going different directions depending on which house you walked past. The what? Which house you walked past puts you on a different trail. Gotcha. What are the flags? Are you sending them? I am. Okay. Good, more flags. Love this. How you doing over there? Oh, great. More I just flags, found this, more fun. Uh, loot in my, uh, this ukulele I found in my bag. Yeah? I, I thought I could try playing a song. Yeah, you, you love that thing. You don't remember that at all? I remember having that before? <sighs> the, is it yours or is it mine? It's, it's yours. I guess since we're all taking a breather. All right, um, so I start playing, but I don't know anything. You remember, yeah, you remember, how to, you remember how to play that still or? No. But I somehow managed to play one of my many possible songs. And we're going to roll and see which song I play. <laughs> All right. Some freestyling. Amnesia rock. Go, uh, you ready to play that? Nope. Dude. <laughs> Rocking out. <laughs> yeah, it's, 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 it's just like nice, subtle, possibly highly energizing background music comes on. Uh, you feel... Just one last kind of tug. It's sort of like a, the the sound of a smell wafting through the eye space that was a picture. There, uh, and uh, go again. <laughs> I, I played uh, I played distraction. By the way, I'm now playing a very distracting song. <laughs> that's great. That's great. I'm glad to know that's the part of your repertoire. You can stop now. Does everybody see me playing the song? Yeah, we all see you. It's very impressive. I things. feel very distracted. Right, I'm gonna write this again in actual cool. English I think instead of scramble. Distracted? Is that like a happy feeling? I, okay. Not Wait, for me. he's gonna say something again. I can see it. I can sense it. Are you gonna say something again, or is he gonna barf? But I go 50, and 50 play in front of him. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like those odds. <laughs> Stand back. I'm gonna set him down. <laughs> That's fine. Set him down. I don't know why you haven't been dragging him, honestly. Oh my god. What is it? Play him. <laughs> Do you need to see the word again? I'm sorry. No, I know. I know what it is. I just can't think of anything that also means that. I hope that's one word. It is. That 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 is one word. Okay, thank God. It's a good thing that the uh, uh-huh. overbearing, uh, like, on top of it all, uh, God of this universe doesn't have to be like really into grammar and wouldn't know immediately if you said <laughs> two word word is one word. These flags are all very similar and very Japanese for some reason. Um. It's the red and the dot. <laughs> that's the Xbox and the flag. white. The Xbox flag. <laughs> Um, okay. You got something for us? Uh, <laughs> um, I, I can nothing. tell. I can tell. He's gotten us this um, far. What's the okay. last thing? It's a flower, okay. right? Here we go. Here we go. Um, like the other two. Have nope. I thought I had Remotely close to so their words. Uh, Liram, you're our only hope. Legitimately, we have no idea what to do. Can I egg him in the right direction? No, no, I'm just, okay. <laughs> Is it okay? Is it okay? No, okay. Um, no, he can half... think of a word. <laughs> no, that's two words. See, I can't do that. What if I, as a magical boon granted by the god above, give you a hyphen? Give <laughs> <laughs> a hyphen. <laughs> this is, you're really okay. gathering the utmost of your strength here. Um, okay. Half circle? <laughs> That's what you needed <laughs> all this time for a half circle? Look, a half circle. Look, moon. All right, well, there's only Maybe. one with a circle that's split in half. Let's go to that one. So, half yeah, circles. all right. Let's try that one out. Okay, I'll go that way. Do you ever wonder what brought you to this moment in life where you're following a vomiting, sick, completely out of it person down all a series life. of streets and flags? You know, I've been that wondering that recognize. all day. I want to say, oh, this is me. When I when I used to be, I I used to be a lieutenant. It sounds just as confused as I did. We all have a natural spirit of charity that lends us to kind acts. Speak for yourself. No, you do. My spirit of charity may be more prominent than yours. However, it's in there. Thanks. It's in there. I feel it. Dying. I disagree. Anyway, down I the say, half as I pick him up and still keep walking right there. <laughs> so you go down the half circle flag, and um, a, 
it's I mean, there's 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 some plants back there. Um, somebody want to check around, just look for something. Yes. Where's the weed doctor? Yeah, you look at the plants. I don't... He's he doesn't exist yet. So. Right. Okay. That's um... too bad. Is like it just an alley plant. with just like plants in it? Or? It's just kind of like think of like a like if a cul-de-sac ended like in a gravel road, and behind that there were some houses, and behind the houses there was just like green belt, just undeveloped lack, area. lack of houses. Yeah. Is this a I specific mean, skill check? You can if you have one that you'd like to roll. I uh, you can always roll perception. Survival? If you got knowledge, nature. That's I'll just nature right here. See if I see something. Um. Uh, oh. Nineteen. I rolled an eight. I rolled a. 18. <clears throat> it is just a lot of weird kind of plants. Uh, well, that's not true. It's a lot of normal kind of plants. They're just basically the same plants you've seen everywhere. Except that one over in the corner, which is like off-season and yellow. and kind of looks sort of tasty. and probably doesn't belong here. But other than that, it's just a bunch of plants. Are you tired of cramming your precious dice into those little tiny rectangle plastic containers or into bags like a freaking peasant? Well, head on over to DiceDungeons.com and you can pick yourself up a finely crafted wooden dice case, among many other D&D accessories. They also have these really cool cloth playmats that are very easy to transport and store, and they all combine together into one larger area. If you're watching this during the premiere and you tuned in a little bit late, Dice Dungeons is offering a 10% discount with the code DOORMONSTER during checkout and a free free pack of mystery dice if you place an order of $20 or more before noon central standard time, which is about an hour after this premiere ends. So uh, yeah, go go check those out. Back to the superheroes. Alright, well this is what we get for following the directions of a dying man. No. Oh, I want to go look at the flower. You have to save go my husband. Um, I'll do my best. How do you look at the flower? What, do you, what, what is your... I just want to more, know more about it. I want to, yeah, I want to go examine it. You said it looks tasty. It does look tasty. And it looks you, different than the other flowers. You, you get close and you, feel, you see it's, um, uh, it's, it's got like, I mean, Aviel is a pretty temperate place, but it's not been the super uh, like wettest season. But this is a very well-formed stalk, nothing too draggly or, or uh, uh, rotten about it. And uh, the leaves are still wet, which is interesting because it hasn't rained today. Um, it looks kind of like somebody's watered it. John will eat that Zeotes. Okay. No, the- no, no, no. I grab it away from him. You kind of grab it away, pull back, and as you pull it back, you see back behind it, there is an impromptu lab set up. I walk in. Do I have- Kind of like a moonshine station, Do sorta. I have the flower? Like a- Did I get the flower? Sorry. Yeah, you get flower. Okay. Is this flower <laughs> mango colored? Mangoes are a lot of colors. <laughs> one so of them is yellow. green, so... <laughs> Depends. Well, the inside of a mango is one color. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's true, I guess. Like, I... I <laughs> No, it is not that color. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, uh, so, you just look, were you, were you going in or just looking in? Oh, I just walked in. I you just walked like, in? Oh, okay. look. And I just started walking in. Can someone right. remind me the name of the person who gave us terrible clues to get to where we need to go? Davy, right? <clears throat> or no, sure is it? Pretty sure it was no. Davy. Yeah. So I'm, uh, um. Thanks, Davy. It may have been Excelsior, so but Jasper, you've been through enough, so I'll blame Davy. Uh, currently, um. I would honestly be relaxing with a nice book and maybe a cup of something hot to drink. And what would it do to your like state of calm relaxation if a guy who looked sort of like Joey just waltzed into your living room? <laughs> just waltz in? Kind of half strumming a, a, a ukulele. Oh, Distractingly. Hello. Yeah, <laughs> and I just say, uh, hello. Hello. Uh, how can I help you today? I don't know. Um, I don't know who I am. Oh, amnesia. I think I have a cure for that. It'll take me about five minutes, maybe longer. Oh. But uh, it's still very much in the works. You're so, so much more helpful than these guys. Yeah. Are you talking to someone? Why did you go in first? Do oh, there's a... Uh, do you have friends out there? Yeah. Did they I, I also think, need help? I don't know if they're friends. I don't know them. I'm going to run in. I don't know them. Who <laughs> knows us? Yeah, I'm bursting. All right. My husband, though, he's out there and he needs help. You suddenly see oh, the most so colorful woman right. the world has ever produced, just absolutely just streaming with light uh, where your bushes used to be. Um, it's as if somebody had removed an entire wall of your uh, uh, tree wall and replaced it with a stained glass window. Wait, what happened? Rachel is standing in your doorway. Oh, I see. <laughs> I want to talk to him. Aurora okay. is standing in your doorway. Please, kind sir, we need your help. Okay. 
I was here Wait, first. I have a friend who's very sick. He <laughs> really needs um a pharmacist. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna like oh you mean this one behind her and just flop him yes. on the ground. <laughs> he he went swimming in uh, somewhere he should not have. Where did he go swimming? Uh, a sewer or something. A I'm sewer not entirely or something. sure. Where did not... you go swimming, young man? <laughs> ah, okay. He doesn't. Uh, Give me like five minutes, help yourself. There's still a pot on the stove. Um, don't touch anything, because it might touch you back. And I'll start ambling off to I'm attempt go to get manufacture whatever's on the stove. a lesser restoration. <laughs> I immediately put my possible. hands in my pockets. Well, uh, what do you do that? Uh, or uh, do you have um, uh, uh, craft herbalism? Did you end up taking that one? I have craft alchemy, and I, yes. have, um, I also have profession healer. You can roll any of those. Cool. Um, I'm probably gonna do, I'll do alchemy. I have a little bit better to that. So that's just a d20 plus uh, my alchemy skill. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> uh, nat 20, plus 12. Whoa. <sighs> wow. This Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> wow. wow. I don't promise anything, um, cause I never promise anything. But um, if he jumped into what I think he jumped into, I might be able to help him. What am I? Well, I guess I should. What am I? What am I? Who are you? What am I looking at? Oh, uh, I, I guess how embarrassing. I never introduced myself. I'm Jasper, um, a healer of sorts. Um, I, I'm, I'm. I look like a drow. I have short white hair. I have. Um, okay. What's a drow? A drow is a dark elf. So gotcha. like an elf, like kind of charcoal skin, white hair. I have okay. um, like ambery eyes with no pupils, and I'm wearing like a kind of like halfway between a gardener's and like a doctor's outfit, where it's like. You know, like the okay. gardener's like overalls, yeah. but with like an apron that has a little bit of blood, a little bit of plant juice on it. Quality. I believe, believe you described a butcher. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> a doctor and a butcher are just two levels of precision away from each other. I come back from the kitchen with three cups of whatever was on the stove for us. <laughs> oh yes, uh, herbal tea. Careful, it's still very hot. Um, also, I don't know she didn't give me. Any. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank, thank you. you. Um, no, I didn't catch you anything. No, I so yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I'm I'm like six foot tall. I'm very very skinny, <laughs> because okay. drows are very skinny apparently, <laughs> frighteningly so. I weigh ninety pounds. Oh my god, that's Damn. not a good thing. <laughs> At six feet tall. Yes. Wow, you blow in the wind. Yeah, that's why I live in between all these trees. Yeah, it makes so sense. Don't go outside on a windy day. <laughs> um, so how does how's this boy looking after after <laughs> Damston? You did again. Keep yeah. it down for a minute or so. Later, I have good news and I have not great news. The good news is that awful seasick feeling like like you just, you would die, but you feel like dying would hurt worse because they wouldn't let it go all the way and you'd just be like, just like rattling around and like the, like, a, like a one nut in the bottom of a can. Mm -hmm. That's gone. <laughs> oh, hey, nice. You are still in the maze though. Fantastic. I kneel down Aaron, with him can you hear us? rub his head. My husband. You can hear that. Can you hear us? Yeah. <laughs> you can hear this. I can't hear it. There's something, he's definitely, a, a, a change has come over him. He's definitely like, uh, he doesn't look sick. Like, he, his flesh looks like it would hold, like it wouldn't just like fall with gravity if you tilted him. Uh, he's, he just looks trapped. It looks different. Hmm. How, See, can you do the mind <laughs> reading thing again? Let me just do something really fast. I would like to slap him. Yeah, yeah. Well, I could have done that. <laughs> Not with Roll your metal it. hands. <laughs> Roll for it? Roll for it. You Nine. Miss. You oh. Miss. <laughs> oh, did I miss? Plus What's your <laughs> plus your uh, melee attack modifier, <laughs> which I think is two. Eleven. <laughs> I'm going to call this flat-footed. I think that's fair. Fourteen. <laughs> Wow. Yep. <laughs> it just bounces off of his thick skull. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happens. Uh, okay, yeah, I'll read I, his mind. I am curious. Um, is, there, is there anything you can tell me uh, about <laughs> what caused this young man to uh, be in the situation that he's in? As far as I know, he just jumped into a polluted lake and then he came out like that. Well, I mean... If somebody else there, I don't actually remember. I, I don't know if there's any other I, details. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm a doctor of the flesh. I, I, I know nothing of uh, possible... Magical disorders. If this is what is going. I'm sorry. On. What did you say your name yeah, was? No, I'm, not. Uh, I'm uh, Jasper. Jasper. Okay. Um, this is um, Silverback. Silverback. He's like the grumpy uncle, and then we have Sparkle Princess over here. Her name uncle. is. What? 
what uh, um, Aurora is Aurora. my superhero name? Yeah. Aurora. Uh, I'm Caprice. This is Lyrum. I'm really excited now to like learn who I am. Oh, why are most superheroes going to burn out? <laughs> uh, this is... So is why am I the only one that doesn't get a superhero name? <laughs> so is, is everyone in their superhero ghetto? Seems like it. Okay. This is... This, uh, the Revenant? The Revenant. And then over here we have... Oh, I don't even... I. Lord Chomwell. The uh, of East Allentown. Allentown. Yep. That's or, he told us he is it a nice least... place? East Allentown? Uh, you, you said it was great. <laughs> Yep. I've never That's heard great. of it personally. Do you have any friends no, with Talia? Either. We're going to go back. I mean, I couldn't help but notice that you're all dressed like, um, uh, well, vigilantes. Yeah, no, she, we're, yeah, friends. Mm -hmm. She's, yeah, we work for her a little that bit. That explains how Together. you found me. Um, we actually didn't find you very easily. Oh, I mean, that's the point. No one's oh. supposed to be here, but. Sure. Um, do, uh, do you have any mangoes? Mangoes? Uh, they're kind of not in season right now. Peaches. No. That's fine. It's fine. I, Do you have the wild flower of the mango peach? No, my last shipment was actually eaten by rats. That's uh, unfortunate. I can't thank you enough for fixing him. Um, he still looks... I, mean, I, I, I feel like my job isn't done, but... Right. Can you tell what's wrong with him still? No. Not at all. He seems to be unconscious. Physically, there shouldn't be anything wrong after, uh, of course, a resting period. And I cradle him in my arms and say, Doctor, please save my husband. I, I, I'm doing my best. Uh, as far as something with you, I don't know if I have anything that can deal with Can I read his thoughts? Amnesia. Yeah. Okay. We'll call him, uh, I'm, uh, we'll call him drilling this time. I don't think he's putting up resistance. Um, what languages do you speak? Um, let's see. Where is that again? Good, top. Depends on where you put it. Um, oh, there's a common, top. abyssal, and elven. Gotcha. Yeah. Oh, the abyssal. That's demons. Oh. That's demons <laughs> in there. Um, it's a. Uh, uh, he's he's just like uh, repeating something sort of softly to himself, like it's kind of a mantra. He's just like like on a long journey, just sort of getting into rhythm, and it's just uh, a set of uh, of of words over and over again. That you recognize as a part of. Uh, it's a pretty common part of several abyssal incantations to set up spells. Gotcha. He done been, been demon. Every time I read somebody's mind, you guys see me do like the that or even like. <laughs> <laughs> yes. uh, so I'm out of it. <laughs> I'll what come did you, back. Did you see? We are in major trouble, and by we are I mean his soul. He is. Oh, it's just demons. I. He fell into a demon puddle or something. I'm not yeah. totally familiar with it, but. By the way, he is, yeah, he is we spooked about. to his soul. That, very, that, that, that might fit into your story. She is good at that. Demons? Oh. Uh, oh, yeah. I know someone who might be good at demons, if that makes any sense. Someone who's a, <laughs> a bit of a mystic, I'd suppose. Uh, we could probably use somebody like that. I, I, would I know how to contact her on a moment's notice? Yeah, she's... In the bush next door, so. <laughs> oh, <laughs> uh, uh, give me a moment. This is a, a bit awkward, and I'm gonna knock on the tree. <laughs> it knocks back. We have demons. So you see, uh, uh, a wiry face. It's definitely not as old as it looks, because it looks like '96 or something. Just like on a, on a, uh, a woman's head, just like, just sort of thrust through demons. In his head. Jesus. <laughs> Like that a second. Oh, I see it. I get, oh, that's just him. All right. <laughs> she kind of pulls back the mask a little. Yeah. People's not responding. That's the demons. All right. Give what do we do? I often try. I often do you want to keep the demons? No, we no. would not like to keep the no. demons. We would like, the we'd like to expel the demons. Is there a benefit to keeping right. the demons? Yeah, they have so many wonderful medicinal properties no, that we no, have not no. yet There's studied. There's never a benefit no. to okay, keeping the demons. No, 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 I have an empty bottle. I, I just drank my juice and. He put Sorry, it in what was your name? Affle. Affle Blevins. Affle. I'm sure you'll learn our names eventually. I'm, Psycho Seer. I can see that. Yeah. 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 And, and I'm Aurora. Wait, um, can you explain you. your? Thank you. I yeah. I suppose. I, can you explain your association with uh, demons and dispelling them, please? Ah, so. And I'm Lord Chomwell of East Allentown, and I, I look at them and make sure that was right. I was yeah. Like, she kind of leans in. The place has gone through a real downturn. Your family hit too hard by it. No. Well, that's great. All right. So my association <laughs> with demons <laughs> is frequent. 
and sometimes successful. Dispelling them is on my business card, technically speaking. Business cards are very expensive, you have to understand. That sounds great, yeah. He's pretty much useless, so if you could just get them out, I'm... All right. Is there he's been a bit of a do? burden. Last chance, you want to keep him? Anybody want to... All right, no, no, okay. Oh, okay. No, 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 Jasper, what, do you, what, what is it? Well, I, I trust your guidance. I was just wondering if there's anything that I can do to assist you in this... Um... You know what? Let me get back to you on that. Um, she is gone. She's back through the, the into her own little stand of trees. Um, I have and, a question. For not her, but for him. Oh, yeah, that's fine. Um, what are three things closest to me? Like, touchable things. Closest? Oh, in my... Yeah, in, my in, your, in your area. Uh, I mean, there would be a large amount of, like, just potted plants everywhere, like even some hanging from little branches and whatnot. There's a small bird cage without a bird in it. Without um, a bird in it? There's no bird in it. Okay. Um, there is a, like, small planter trough that looks like it has some budding cactuses in it that are very, very small. Anything specifically colorful or shiny or sparkly or something? Colorful or shiny or sparkly? Within um, the vicinity that I am in. Uh, the, the shiniest thing that would be close to you would probably either be the tea kettle that you were just serving drinks out of, or maybe a pile of, uh, vials, like, little potion vials. Like, like neatly stacked, kind of in, like, you know those milkman little yeah. things, like the little six-pack? Probably that. Okay. Nothing incredibly crazy. Okay. At this point in time, you see, um, Athel is, uh... Sort of uh, just very casually strolling back through um, the uh, the trees. It looks as if they've been out of the way for her almost absolutely zero resistance. She just sort of glides through, which makes all that knocking you did probably really rude to her, but it's fine. Uh, she is carrying what looks to be a uh, hospital grade medical strength uh, cup of tea. Hmm. And she's just going to stick it right under Liram's nose. And as it passes by, you kind of get a look at it. It looks like she's putting that bag in it, but. In a pentagram. <laughs> and powerful. The the steam starts rising up, up. And uh uh Lyra, make a constitution. Check. Oof. Let's make it a fort save. Make a fort save. Last time I did this it didn't work. Here you go. Oh come on. Ooh, that's okay, okay, cool. hey, yeah, twenty one. Twenty one, all right. So you breathe in more deeply than you have in maybe your entire life, except for that one time you breathed in underwater in the trash can. <laughs> and, uh, I want to inhale the garbage. <laughs> me every day at lunch. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it is the best thing you've ever smelled, mostly because it doesn't smell like you at this exact moment. Um, uh, and you're still kind of like, there's still like a bit of a buzzy high from like realizing, whew, I can just stand here in this terrible, awful a nihilistic white maze as opposed to having to seasick my way through it. But this kind of like uh, rides you up and it's a, it's a pleasing sort of comforting sort of smell. Um, and then there is a violent sort of shaking of the the, the everything, of the you, really. Um, and it just kind of like... And you have to let the breath out. <laughs> okay. And so she, you see Athago, mm, I was afraid of that. Sometimes, you've been in there too long, you don't want to come out. So, you got to go in. And she just shoves the drink in your mouth and pours it down your throat. <laughs> <laughs> and a moment later, uh, you are free of the white maze. You're now in a voidish sort of a dark room with ambient lighting coming from nowhere in particular. And there are just a bunch of demons standing in front of you. But hey, you got your crossbow. I do? You sure do. Roll this shit. <laughs> Y'all are all dead. He's a demon hunter, right? Uh, okay. Uh, that's going to be a... Oh, the, wait, that was a ghost six hunter? or ten? nine. He is the ghost. They're right by they each other. Right, <laughs> right. Okay. He's the um, that, I'll go 11. 11. 11, all right. So, um, uh, you get a surprise round. Okay. Because they were not expecting you to show up in your own head. Got it. They really <laughs> thought they 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 cleared that one out good. Okay. Um, there are four demons. There are two biggish ones and two not so biggish ones. Okay. I am gonna start with the small ones. 
All right. Uh, um, and I'm going to rapid shot so I can get one on each. Yeah. Okay. We'll take a minus two to everything. Okay, so... Let's do... Yeah. So for the first one, nice is going to be uh, 27. 27. Mm, wow. Nice. I'm pretty mm. sure... Uh, do you That's mean just roll attack on the second one first? Go ahead. Okay. That is going to be a... A 22. 22? Alright. There she is. These are the two small ones? Oh, wait. I rolled a 19 on the first one. That which crit. would also give me a crit. Go ahead and try it. Okay. How many demons are there? Can you get a confirm Four. the crit, right? Do I have to confirm the crit? You do have to confirm the crit. You just have to hit their above their AC. That's all. Yeah, you just need, You don't have to crit again. Confirm time. Nope. Well, well, what did you roll? What did you uh, four plus eight, which is going to be twelve. It hits. So. Oh, the hey, crit. there we go. Okay. Welcome to flat. Roll rates. that crit. Okay, so the D ten, which is this one. Uh, yes. Okay. D ten. Uh. Okay. Three plus five Nine. is eight. Eight times three is twenty-four. So twenty-four damage on the first one. Have you ever seen a demon pop? No. Yes. Yes, yeah. I have. Yeah, you seen it twice. Sweet. Uh -huh. <laughs> so I think in the caldera they popped a few demons. Okay. If I remember. They correctly. did actually. Yeah, there was one. I think they just kind of like close lined it like through the face. Second damage oh, yeah. is gonna be wow, uh, six. <laughs> six damage. <coughs> Have you ever seen a demon not pop? Because that's what happens in this one. But it still gets hit, and that's great, right? Woo! We, we, we take those. Okay. Um, we're going to briefly return uh, to the world of not in Lyrum's head. Yeah. What does this look like out from the outside? <laughs> he is. You know how they wanted to make Assassin's Creed look so cool. <laughs> Yeah. Having Michael Fassbender do everything that his character is doing in Spain in a stupid room. Yes. Yeah, but it's a forest. He's so he's, like, he's physically moving. Yeah. And making the pew-pew noises. <laughs> wait, wait, crossbows don't make pew-pew noises. Uh, Personal do. choice. <laughs> <laughs> they do kind of if they're fast, but it's like... Um, <laughs> so he, wait, but is he shooting his crossbow? No, no, I mean, just finger crossbow. So we're all just okay. standing there watching him just shadow box off yeah. in the distance, basically? <laughs> Does he do this can often? I, I don't know. I, don't, I thought, I'm not I, familiar. I would, can I, I would like to try and help him. You want to get in there? Yeah. Absolutely. Before you can finish saying, yeah, the tea is in your mouth, and you are one, two, three, in Liram's head. Wait, I'm sorry, what? <laughs> <laughs> so okay. Now roll initiative. It's a good thing I didn't drink it. Okay. What does she look like to us now? Uh, right now... <laughs> Horrible. People just dilate. Just <laughs> <all so funny>. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh my god! What, what, in, what did you roll? Uh, I don't, where's the initiative on the sheet? I mean, I rolled a three. Not great. Oh, initiative is there? four. So seven. Yeah. This wasn't quite what I had in mind when I said I want to help. <laughs> what happens when you die in someone else's head? You die in real life. You sure? You go to that bottom layer of Inception where there's like the ancient <laughs> stuff and you have to stay there for 30 years. Um, also, as soon as I get subsumed, I want Rhododactylus to try and drink the drink as well. I think Rhododactylus is the, uh, just like the essence of form of the thought of your willpower so manifesting. He's already there. Okay, he's there. Okay, this good. Really easy. Good. <laughs> and, you know, a little, a little cup of tea with a little pentagram. <laughs> but they spiced it with avocado, and then Rody just goes down. Um, all right. Uh, so you said you what was your a, a seven total? Yeah. Okay. So you'll see one of the um uh, the bigger demons, um which. Looks surprisingly like a man, if a man looks um, a lot like a goat. <laughs> oh God! Specifically, has a goat's head, and this just horrible, awful axe. He's just dragging behind him all the way, and he's okay. um, uh, they're about twenty feet ahead of you. 
And so he raises his horns up. His eyes dilate, which is really freaky because goats got those rectangle pupils, which so just like a window blaring. And uh, he's going to run straight at you, Liram. And he'll make an attack. So on our side. Okay. What do you think? So she just jumped in, I'm guessing. Yeah. I don't know what's happening. I'm not specifically interested in taking the magic tea. <laughs> Did a 16 hit your AC? Uh, no. I, yeah. No. You see this, he has this, uh, this axe really on a, a, a bowl like this a halberd, right? Just like, stops just a little bit short at where you think it would, he reaches lever all the way forward and as the blade just like it smells exactly like you did for the last month. Yeah. You can see it wavering in the diseased light. You owe us so much. Is that a magic weapon that we can get like stinky axe? <laughs> stink stinky axe. There's multiple stinky axe. That's true. That is true. So anyway. If you um, want to drink the tea, I mean I'll I'll make sure you're not running outside like a lunatic. I don't really want I, what do we do? You already drank the tea. What's life without a little adventure? I also want to drink the tea. <laughs> oh, I hate all of you so much. <laughs> Are we all in on the cool tea? Mm-hmm. Okay, cool. Uh, after this round, I'll jump in. I'll just, like, pull oh. off his mask. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> it's got to be vented, right? Limit, like, limit. Sh- one limit. One rule. Don't take off the mask. Lear him, you're up. Okay. You got um, the, uh, the, the, uh, one of the goat demons is standing right in front of you, and you have one... Uh, you know it's a dredge. You 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 have you enjoy doing terrible things to dredge demons. That's your whole backstory. <laughs> yep. And uh, another goat demon about twenty feet away. Okay, the dredge was the one I already shot once, right? It is. Okay, I am going to take. Uh, Wretch that dredge. Wretch yeah, that I'm dredge. just go. Uh, so I'm gonna do another rapid shot. Uh, the first shot's gonna go for the dredge. I want to finish him off. Uh, Oh, that is going to be uh, to 5 plus 8, which is 13. 13 is... Good. Not going to hit. Darn, okay. Not gonna hit this one, sorry. Well, my second shot is also going for him. All right. Do it again. <laughs> that is that the same thing? That is not what I meant. Uh, but I was yeah. hoping you rolled the exact same number so I could save that, so thank you. <laughs> yeah, so I missed both shots. It's the coolest way to miss, though. Mm. Doing the same mistake, like, no, I was right the first time. <laughs> yes, no. This die is not working for me that great today. All right, Um. so after that comes uh, Aurora. Okay, so um, do Rody and I get to move at the same time, or what happens there? You just both take, you can take both turns on your turn, yeah. Okay, so I would like to... Um, Thank you. Like, have Rhodey cast Smite Evil? You don't know they're evil. Rhodey does, though. They are. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Some morally great um, evils. And then I would like to attack one of them with my scimitar. Okay, cool. Um, remind me of Rhodey's... I think it's... A, what is Rhodey's uh, wing buffet? Attack on fire. Or whatever one's listed first. Whatever one has the bigger number. That's the thing. 1d2 plus 3 plus 1d6. Wait. That's the damage. Wait, what did you want me to read? Uh, it should have an attack modifier box somewhere. Oh. Mm-hmm. should have some slashes yeah, in it. You can't go above your... Oh, um, box. 7 yeah. plus 7. You should start cool. spinning it back. So, because he has to move, he has to like spend some time flapping over there so he can't make the full attack, but he can still roll it plus 7, so go ahead and roll it plus 7. I and which one is he always attacking? To spend and um, to I don't know, what the goat one? The goat one. Uh, that's a... Six plus seven. And plus one for the smite. Um, so six plus seven plus one is um, fourteen. Yeah. And it doesn't work. The goat is used to fighting off birds because goats live in annoying areas. <laughs> okay. What an explanation. <laughs> yeah, I've never heard something now like that. This ever happened to you? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Can I get all the biomes? Yes, That's what the horns are for. Oh. <laughs> oh. Got it. You attach, like a, like, attach like a net to the inside of one of the horns, just catch a bird. <gasps> mm. I have horns. A fine you net. Catch, you can catch birds. That's true. No, just like a <laughs> sticky net. <laughs> you like swing around. Yeah, yeah. Uh, cool. So, okay. um, he, 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 he flubs it. Doesn't quite get there. Um, go ahead and roll for your scimitar, though. Is this the same demon or a different demon? 
I'll just do the same demon since he missed. Demon two with the revenge. <sighs> okay, I rolled a one. You don't um, do well in Jeffrey's head. <laughs> yeah, apparently not. <laughs> apparently I don't either. Um, well, we knew that. This is called depression. <laughs> <laughs> so you did Your really, really great until scimitar? other people showed mm-hmm. up. Maybe. Yeah. So performance the exactly. Exactly. Y'all ruined it. Uh, so that's a nine total. So but if you roll the one, you roll the one. Mm-hmm. So, uh, you still look really great doing it, though. Like the best, I promise. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> I also have plus, uh, like when my halo is on, I intimidate evil creatures. Does that help at all? If you intimidate them. Okay. You have to roll Naturally, the I, Personally, I think the best way to intimidate a demon is by killing it with a scimitar. Uh-huh. But if you're ever like, who owes me money? I don't know. I'm Chumwell and I forgot that you can intimidate <laughs> yeah, that's a demon. Me. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, wait a minute. Next up is. Uh, thank you. The Dretch is going to make a very valiant effort, as Dretches always do. It's kind of like, it's like a balloon, but slightly less threatening. Those are the weird little, like, bullfrog demons, yeah. right? I'm actually just imagining that little, like, shoulder devil from the Black and White series. I never saw Oh, I it's never saw like, that. Oh, imagine, God, like, yeah, yeah. together, the little thing that, like, has, like, a New York accent. I imagine, whatever. like, crazy oh, oh frog, God. but fat. <laughs> It's like, it's like uh, it has this oh. face that one hundred percent of the time a dress looks like it's saying, "You stole my cocoa." Uh. <laughs> and it's really unhappy about it, um, but it does have some claws, so it's gonna uh, just sort of speed right up to you, Lyrum, mm. and it's gonna swing a claw. <laughs> what about an eighteen for AC? Mm-hmm. Nope. All right. Well. Nah. All it right. misses. It misses. He's a very good. And answer. next up is the other goat demon. Goat Who demon. Will... Goat demon. Go. I haven't <laughs> switched sides. Us. <laughs> <laughs> Should have known. Um, he's very excited because he gets to make a choice of which giant glowing good thing he gets to hit with the axe. <laughs> And he is going to choose you. Okay. How about a 24? Yeah, that hits. All right. How do you calculate that? It depends on... Is uh, it my AC? Yeah. My AC. Okay, yeah. Yeah, that hits. It hits everyone. <laughs> I also have, ma- I have mage armor. Does that help? If you put it on first. Yeah, you'd have to cast I- it. Oh. It, yeah. Boo. You could put it on next turn. Okay. Um, it's a quick change. I wouldn't do it right next while you're standing right next to somebody, though, because A, rude. Mm. B, <laughs> it triggers an attacker. Okay. Um, that is nine damage. Okay. And make a fort save. I got a three. Dead. <laughs> so, um... You go into your own mind. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't like the rules of perception. Where I said the axe was like super, super gross. Yeah. It is still super, super gross as it slides through your skin, leaving some of its gross behind, and you have contracted grape pox. Oh, <laughs> boy. Inside of his mind. Yeah. And that's where the grape pox are. Um, Bad day. So. The axe uh, gives you diseases? <laughs> I'm glad I didn't go in there. Ew. <laughs> Yeah, what are you doing? I'm just chilling with Jasper. <laughs> Touching all the things. Offering him what's some this? of my potions that what I found in So, the bag. What's, uh, what's your strength Ooh, score? You can have this one. <laughs> Very low. It's a know. seven. <gasps> Could be Did I die? Am I going to die? I hope not. <laughs> you took six strength damage. Oh. What does that mean? If you took seven, <laughs> strength score reduces to one. Yeah. You would die. <laughs> so, I'm going to get her out of here. Yep. That's my goal now. <laughs> Somebody's going to have to because, uh, well, I haven't actually arrived yet. I'm not sure. Yeah. <laughs> so while she's dying on the floor, just like just we just appear. <laughs> go, uh, go ahead and uh, roll initiative. It's <laughs> the perfect note. <laughs> roll what? Initiative. Oh, us. Yeah. Are you on the the the, the Kool Aid train here? No, no, no. Uh, I just gave Jasper one of the potions. Hey, that potion. I assume I'm trying to figure out what it is. Well, I assume it's grape juice because the other one was grape juice. Uh, this one doesn't look like grape juice. Well, what is the third potion on your list? Potion of invisibility. 
Would I recognize that? Oh, it's probably invisible. <laughs> <laughs> this common misconception about the marketing. Uh, Making things invisible is a really bad marketing strategy. Mm-hmm. But I read that somewhere. Do I recognize it? What'd you roll? Two. Oh, 11. <laughs> okay, all right. Um, so. Do we still have to go this round, or do we have to wait until a whole other round goes Uh, by? we're starting at the top of the next round, and you'll just slot in. Uh, all right. Now right, we'll go last. What is your dex modifier? Four. Four. Who had the 11? Uh, it was, Me. uh, what is your dex modifier? Oh, wait, sorry, the other 11. There's another, it may have been one of the demons. It doesn't matter. What are you asking? Who had an 11? Oh, the initiative 11? Yeah. Okay, I had an 11, and my dex modifier is I put a paper like screen one? cover on no, it. Okay. So it provides some friction. I believe it was a cool. eleven. So the one? first oh. the uh was was yours the eleven? Possibly. I think it was, what it is it? your dex modifier? Mine is plus five. That was the first. Huh. Sweet. Small privileges of being inside your own head. <laughs> Woo! Um also small privileges, you're being attacked by the goat thing again. Oh. <laughs> do I see that they're doing? Porn yeah, what are they suddenly? doing? Like, did a, did a giant wound appear in one of their bodies in the corporeal uh, realm? Aurora's body actually just like shivers, pales, and just like loses a great deal of its mass. It just sort of like, it's like a light dimming, um, uh, oh. and and she like. It's not good. <laughs> Fascinating. <laughs> I, I just look equally the as time, confused. There's no um, indication that I've entered this at all. Like the physical effect seems very very noticeable. The uh, the other side of it though is just like Liam was over there. Um, uh, Aurora is doing a uh, uh, highbrow theater acting. So you see like the axe come in and she'll like ah and like, fall into it a little bit. And, like, and then the grievous wound starts showing up and it's like wow. I feel like I should go in there. I don't want to, though. Don't, uh, don't leave me. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Options. I feel, like this, I feel like this falls under my... 19? 18, 19? Oh, uh, no. Okay. What is your AC? 20. Uh, really? <laughs> yeah. I feel you like gotta go fast. I feel like they, they fall it's your under turn my... To go. Uh, Sweet! Okay. I still I feel still like they're, they they still fall under my care even if they're in his mind. Well, can I, you do something while they're out? So if someone's right next to me, yeah. do they get a bonus against ranged attacks? They will get an attack of opportunity. I believe you may have a gunslinger deed that lets you fire one off without that. But you can also just five foot step away and then shoot them in the face. Oh, but you can't. But if I back a, up, because that gets a It's a halberd, so it's got the reach. I see. Okay. Well, then I am just going to shoot the one that's not right next to me. People still get the attack. Oh, right really? Yeah. Oh, I see. Okay. Um, go ahead. I look through your deeds real fast. Just list them off. Uh, the deeds. Deeds. It's your gunslinger stuff. The special abilities. Mm-hmm. The like the ones that cost grit. Yeah, it's the ones. Okay, sharp shoot shot. Uh, gunslinger's dodge. Uh, vigilant loading. Gunslinger's initiative. Pistol whip. Shooter's resolve. And nimble. What was the first one? Sharp Are we shot? level five? Yeah, sharp shot. Which uh, get that one, it's it. one grit shot versus touch AC within 120 feet. Right. Um, I don't think any of those are the, uh, can shoot without getting a, a attack. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. I think pistol whip. Yeah, well, you pistol I whip. have one that, that I can load without getting an attack of opportunity. Which is good. But, um, but okay, which, yeah, so I'm, I, I guess, I guess I'll do pistol whip. Yeah. All right. Um, if it is, oh jeez, how does this go? Uh, I believe... What I have is melee attack with bow hit equals CMB pro. That's my shorthand, apparently. So your CMB bonus is on your sheet somewhere. Yeah. Um, but you can also add any plus ones you have to your bow to the attack. I believe. I'll say you can. It's a nice plus bow. ones. Like, you've, is it a magical bow at all? It's a masterwork. Not quite there. That's just like. Magically enchanting, but not actual magic. Yeah, so I don't. I don't think it's. Go ahead and magical. just roll your uh, your die plus CMB. Okay, so. Got it. Uh, twenty one. Yeah, that'll hit. Sweet. Okay, what do I roll for damage? I think it's something like, one d six plus. They have to. Make a reflex save or go prone. So just one d six. Um. Plus strength. Okay, 1d6. <laughs> Six! All right. Let me see what you guys do real quick. I 
It's a surprise melee uh, attack. It uh, makes sense because you don't do those. Guess they can't touch. Be sure to check out dftba.com. <laughs> Door wow. monster and buy the the do not subscribe agency to the polyhedron shirt Woo. available now. Also, so is the one with Joey's face on it. They're working on that, so by the time this comes out, it should be up. I can't wait for that yeah, one. It's gonna be great. I yeah. announce you. He can get that shirt also. Yeah. Make it come out and reject. So roll the same thing again. Oh, okay. It's gonna be so much worse though. <laughs> the, so the CMB. Mm-hmm. Yeah, fifteen. Fifteen total. Yeah. Well, I don't actually know what to see. Yeah, no, okay. You like, you all like, hopped up and like, yeah, I hit him in the face with my bow. And I go like for the leg sweep and he's just like, boom. Does not, does not yeah. make him fall prone, so. That's okay, I did six damage. Yeah. It's something. <laughs> <laughs> Next up, it is Psycho Seer. Yes. How are you doing? What you up to? Um... I'm excited to be here. It's <laughs> <laughs> good, it's good. I'm like, yeah, high five. Into the fun. All right. Um, She's looking rough. <laughs> ah! <Yeah>. Ow! <laughs> this hurts. <laughs> now that high five doesn't feel so good. <laughs> you kill Aurora. Just <laughs> like, <laughs> like, <laughs> the wind breeze I like strength. <laughs> yeah. I just high five her. Um, I'm going to attack a demon. Yep, I'm just gonna attack it even. Uh, I'm going preference? to. Um, who's closest? You are over here, so you are on the, the, the back corner of this, so you have uh, Dredge over here, and the two goats kind of moved in this way, so you're sort of like, they're kind of bowed out, so um, they're all equal distance from you, they're all 20 feet away. You okay. have Goat, Goat, Dredge. Okay. Which one's scarier? Definitely Disease Goat. Yeah. I'll attack Disease Goat. No, no, I thought you wanted to get away from that. I, was, I don't want to get anywhere near Disease Goat. Jeez. Go ahead. No, I, didn't, also I didn't want to get close. <laughs> <laughs> um, how does my staring work? Does it have to be looking at me? Do I make it look at me? I mean, I think it's generally like part of the process, but it's not necessary. It's just, it's yeah. that. Like, hey, first. over here, look at me. <laughs> <laughs> That's me. The guy who can ignore anyone. I'm immune to the mind rapist. It doesn't work that way. Nope. Your intention is what matters. Okay. Sicko. So <laughs> you, are, you can just uh, you can, uh, apply your stare to them whether or not they see it. Okay. I'm going to do um, burning gaze mm-hmm. and a painful stare, which is extra damage on top of an attack. Yes. Okay. okay. So you set up your burning gaze, right? Mm-hmm. Um, which I believe is a swift action, I think. Um, Double check. I have it up. And then... That's it's a standard action. Standard action? Okay, so that'll be your, your move, um, well, your your action. And it, um, does it, what does the burning gaze do? Just it is on 1d6 of fire damage. And the painful stare is when you actually hit them and it does more. The painful damp, yeah, painful stare is another 1d6 of damage, um, plus one for every half level. Sure. So okay. what does that put that at? Wait, one for every half level? It just says... Not, oh, half for every... Well, okay. I don't know what it says. It, it says 1d6 plus one half level extra damage on own attack. Sure. But it's when you attack. Okay. So this yeah. one will just be the 1d6 then. Okay. So the the pain... It'll be the 1d6 on top of the fire? The, the It'll be the burning gaze damage. Because um, I don't think it's... I guess... It, is it gaze attack? Well, I don't know. I guess if it's a gaze attack... Yeah. Well, we'll say it is. You, you're, if, this, if your burning gaze does not hurt then your it's normal attack shouldn't. So go ahead and roll it both. Okay. Does he get a save against this at all? He's a fortitude oh. save. Okay. We'll take that. He will just also take your stare like it's nothing. He totally passes the fortitude save. Gotcha. Um, does he take book. any, any uh, half effects on failure or is it just... Um, let's see. What is the save for? That's for burning? I don't think, I don't think there's any results from not getting it. All right, you still have a move action and a swift action if you can use it. Um, let's see. Use a master. Do I still cure the humming in my head, my my character? I think you always cure a little bit of humming in your head. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just like right now. Sometimes you get a nice harmony going. Yeah, with yeah. your own head humming, it's nice. Let me 
see. Oh, okay, Burning Gaze is a spell. Oh. I thought sorry. that was a... Yeah, nice Burning Gaze is a spell, sorry. Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah, Fortitude just um, negates it entirely. He's nothing but Fortitude. He is a ghost demon who wallows in trash disease all day. That makes sense. Is it dark? Yes. But also, no. I described it very specifically as in the middle of a black void with ambient lighting coming from nowhere. So <laughs> I will allow it to be... The answer is yes both times. So as long as it, it's okay that it's light, it is also dark. I will... <laughs> Let me try... Is casting a spell an action? Yes. Is it a standard action? It is. I don't have any more standard actions? You do not. Okay. Um, I think probably you're, uh, you're just down to, like, moving... Yeah, I have. What is touch treatment? Oh, I see. Removes fascinated or shaken. Right. Is like, she shaken I, or fascinated? Not in the capital sense. Sure. Um, okay. I can't do anything. I like this, that you have that. Like it's like if somebody else dares manage to grab the attention of your victim, uh, you go over and just like. Touch them instead of just looking at them. It's like, no, nah, buddy. It's pretty funny. <laughs> I'm using my ultimate weapon. Alright. Next up, it is. Aurora's turn. I would like to cast Mage Armor on myself, <laughs> um, which increases my AC by four. Okay, and I would like to uh, uh, have my bird uh, do Smite Evil again. On the demon that looks the saddest. This one's kind of like... I'm really feeling it, though. Because, like, you don't often get a hit like that. Like, the, yeah. the full six on the day. You go ahead and roll the uh, the bird hit. It says he's right next to it. You can roll all three of his attacks. Wing Buffet, Claw Claw. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's a 19. Plus seven is a 26. Oh, it was a 15. Or wait, oh. 12 plus seven. Okay, um... In that case, still hits. So you can roll that. Uh, that's a 21. That will also hit. And oh. a uh, 9. That one doesn't do so much. Yeah. But you can roll 2d2 plus 4 plus 2d6. Oh, I also have plus 4 damage to evil. Right. Um, plus 4. I wow. Okay. 2d2 plus 3. Wait. Okay. Alright, so that's 6 from your strength, 4 from your smiting, um, and then so just roll 2d2s and oh, 2d6. What's a d2? A okay. 1d4 divided by 2. Is what no, it is a coin. <laughs> I don't do math. It's like, okay. When I play Pathfinder, I like math. <laughs> it's very important. Okay, I got a 5 for the d6. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then. Um, did you roll it twice? No. Is it I, twice? I've lost track of what you were saying. Okay, and then um, another, a four. Right, nine of that. Just roll... Um, yeah, roll a d4 twice. It's very important to note that in this campaign... You got a three on the d4? Mm -hmm. One. I have never successfully okay, and then I got a four on at anybody. Two. <laughs> <laughs> I have not once done anything, and I will never recommend this character to I, anybody. I know it's true, guys. The power of staring at people <laughs> works. I would say the, the staring... I have never the, the, pulled off a spell the staring of feet works. and yeah. attack. No, the, the, it has never worked. The, it worked hit, once on what, him, the dog you, person. If you hit him, it would do more damage. The stare is working. It's just not that useful unless you do the other parts. It has <laughs> never worked. Um, <laughs> you're enhancing uh, something that doesn't exist. Yeah, which exactly. Is, <laughs> the, the yeah. problem is you're not using a cool, like, um, you have to make a cool sound effect. You know, <laughs> <laughs> you know that's probably what it is. That's not, that's not, I don't even have to roll for it. I just do it and it warble. doesn't work. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> um, so my character. that's one plus two is three, plus six plus four is 13, plus uh, four plus six is... 24 plus I think there was something else in there. <laughs> what is your mind? How do you have all those numbers in there? What did you do? <laughs> she the bird attacks. Oh. <laughs> okay. We did not name our bird on accident. <laughs> 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 
Pippa has a smite civilization. <laughs> oh, also, I forgot the plus, the bird gets a plus one on attack against evil. I, 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 okay. <laughs> I, I, I got that. Okay. Uh, so, <laughs> oh, so this this goat demon just over here just having a blast because like man hits like with the axe and they caught the disease and they got it as bad as they could. She almost died. It was great, and then just. <laughs> like, uh, <laughs> like a goat demon anymore isn't really fair because like how much of a face does it have left? It's uh. This is why people are afraid of birds. Also, it's it screams like the sun while it happens. Like if you have to describe the sound of this attack, it would only be justice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I said, you got it. That was exactly what I was picturing. The sound of justice. So, bad day for him. Uh, it's the remaining Dretch's turn. Oh, I guess you you should you sh- you should move. <laughs> Me? Okay, can I move as far away from everything away, as possible? <laughs> yeah, let me see if the bright way for you. Because I think uh, you were... Uh, it's, I said it stopped early, so you're on the outside of his range. So pizza if you time. just... <laughs> I forgot there was pizza. Sorry. Want a piece of pizza? No, no, no. I'm, I'm strong. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a pillar. This uh, is to deal with the depression. <laughs> uh-huh. um, I'll do a break after this fight, probably. We can teach you how to throw bombs. <laughs> pizza nope. time. I'll fight you for it. You can five foot step away, um, but that's about it. Um, you could, if you take a action to walk away. Well, you know what though? Can you catch the disease twice? Do disease stack? <laughs> Do disease stack? Maybe. I think the strength. Um, I don't know. I feel like I had like five of them earlier. I think I had to invent that rule, and I'm pretty sure it's because I I crossbred diseases just to make you. Angry and hurt. I mean, well, you was, succeeded. Yeah. <laughs> okay. To be fair, I don't think anyone's ever had to calculate inhaling literally a sewage water. You should try it sometime. It's great. I don't <laughs> want to. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, I don't think that the disease will you get. So you don't actually have like the strength damage won't hit again until the next morning when you fail to save again. So I would suggest getting it rid something happening. Like, fix it before you die next morning. Uh, like but, heal myself? Well, the, the ability damage is the, the stuff that's going to get you. The actual like HP damage wasn't that much. It was like six or something. I My bird be. has something that gives people strength. He has ability increased strength. Is that for him or can he do it to me? It was just for him. Boo. Yeah, yeah, just like a What's protein the point shake. of it? Okay. <laughs> just so little birdie protein shake. He's way stronger than me. His so strength I is a 17. He's 10 to I ten can't use any of my... Um, uh, two points away from my <laughs> elixirs or whatever on another He's person. However, I can craft a potion of lesser restoration, which does heal ability damage. That would work. Yep, that would and do it. Would, and so I could just do that. You should out of the mind. Probably. Can I start doing that right now? Like, um, hey, you know, it's your it's your treehouse. Yeah. So I'm gonna look it's around. His mind. See, I don't know. See if I have any um, ingredients for a, a lesser restoration potion. Yeah. It costs three hundred gold, and uh, usually craft potion is I can do it in less than two hours if it's 250 gold or less I, look, or, we're gonna call it good what? You, can, you can totally start okay I, I, I approve this math so I don't have to do it okay um, I'm sorry doing it uh, but yeah if you would like to just like uh, walk away a little bit you can up to you me? I walk away a little bit. Okay. I mean, does am I allowed to do no negative consequences? You can, you you can, can do walk a five, five foot, feet away with no consequences. You can do a zwoosh away. And now he has to move to get closer to you which means he can't. He can't like do a mega man. blast. Um, okay. It is other dredges, or other goats' turn. So, Meh. this is the one that was uh, next to you, still next to you, yep. still liking the idea of... How do you feel about disease? Hmm? <laughs> what? How do you feel about disease? How do I feel about eight. it? <laughs> what? 28? Oh, hold on, hold on, let me do the math here. <laughs> I don't think so. Oh, just barely. <laughs> yeah. At least he's actually 27. All right. Make a fortitude save. Ooh. We all know I'm great at these. Actually, yeah. I mean, listen, you've inhaled sewer water. What's worse? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Let's find out. <laughs> oh, uh, well, wait, wait, wait. Which one is it? Four- 15. 15? It's not bad. The antibodies have worked. And you just barely escaped your brush with This is not as bad as that sewer water. <laughs> Wait, did it do damage? It did do damage. But oh. he just didn't get but the, I didn't get didn't the, the, get the strength muscle sucked crap. out of him. Like spaghetti. Ooh. <laughs> Yum. Eleven damage. Eleven, got it. I'm not a stab. <clears throat> I will pin this. I will. PEMDOS? And 
We are back up to uh, Goat Demon number one. Who is looking at that bird and going, wow, <laughs> that was terrible. We didn't go back to the top, did we? Uh, we so did. I should be there somewhere at the bottom. Oh, yeah, what was your... I rolled a two. Oh, that's why <laughs> we should eventually down. reach me. <laughs> <laughs> In a little bit. Go, go ahead. Um, am I close enough to anything to use Brawler's Flurry? It's a full attack. If it's a full attack, no. Okay, you are a, you're the distance. pretty much the exact opposite um, side of the arena from uh, Psycho Seer, so you're also <laughs> 20 feet away from everything, but it's mirrored. All right. Um, well, what's the closest one? The closest one is going to be uh, Goat B. Goat B. <laughs> All right. Um, well, there's nothing around here to grab or to throw <laughs> or anything, so I guess I'm just going to charge it and uh, do just like a big sidekick. All right, you can add a plus two to that attack roll. I can add a plus two? For the charge, yeah. Oh, I forgot that was a, a maneuver. <laughs> that was just colorful language. Um, Gotta be careful. You know, is he doing this in Jasper's place? Yes, That's also just... Uh, <laughs> drop 17. Through the wall. 17. The bush outside got hit, if it makes you feel like you're going to But... I like to point out that I rolled a six and that one seventeen was my result. So if I had rolled a little bit higher, it would have been fine. Wow. That's how I feel about the last many turns. I've... <laughs> yeah. Back up to the top, we have Goat A, um, who is going to look at the bird, decide that it hates birds. <laughs> is also going to five foot step backwards, um, away from your bird, and cast protection from good. Mm. Okay. That's a thing. <laughs> it is a thing. And it's hideous and smells exactly like necro cutie with this. <laughs> One of those things are like, like someone tries to war themselves against evil, they do like the cross thing. Like what's the, they just do the pentagram? Is that like the way? Like, get away, good things. <laughs> just takes out a picture, picture of Mr. Rogers and just... <laughs> <No>. <laughs> you evil. monster. All right, Lyrum. Okay. So wait, did he take it? He took a step back? The one next to uh, Rhododactylus did. Not me. Not you, no. Darn. Okay. Okay. If I want to... Uh, get... I want to get away from him. Okay. Mm -hmm. But I don't think I necessarily have a thing that keeps him from getting like an attack of opportunity on me. There is one thing. You can take the withdraw action and just uh, use both of your actions to just say, nope, 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 and just back up. But and I move twice your speed. also want to shoot him. Ah, that's, that's, that is the tricky bit. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Tell you what, tell you what. You know what? Your AC is 20. I am going to use my full movement to get away from him. And then take a shot at him. If that means he gets an attack on me, that is fine. All right. It does. Okay. And he will. <laughs> cool. Just because, like, if you're offering, it's rude to refuse. But because it's just a token of appreciation, he lets you pass. He's like, yeah, go for it. Sounds yeah. good. Okay. Right. So uh, how, I, I, my movement is 30 feet, so I'm 30 feet away from no, him? No, 30 feet away from him. Okay. Now... I am going to do everything I can to hurt him very badly. That sounds like a job of so deadly aim. First, yes, first is deadly aim. And then I am also going to do a sharp shot, mm -hmm. which is one grit for, which lets me go against his touch AC. Go against touch. Yes. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to do that. Uh, so, here we go. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay, that is going to be 24. 24 will definitely hit his touch AC. Sweet. Okay, so that means I get to roll damage, which is D10. D10 is this one. Okay. Not bad. That is 9 plus 5, which is 14, mm -hmm. plus 4, which is 18 damage. Where's the second 4 coming from? Uh, just... bit from the deadly aim. 
Oh, right, yeah, Kuntz has that too. Cool. So how much total? 18. 18. 18. All right. Well, it isn't quite the same as being, like, attacked in the face by a bird of justice, but he does look very offended. Sweet. <laughs> like, this was not how this was supposed to go. This makes me happy. Psycho Seer. <laughs> Make the sound effect. You gotta do it. <laughs> um. <laughs> Actually, be more like that noise that um, that the drummer makes in Scott Pilgrim when it like pans to her really fast. Like a screech. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's more like like when you like, like when, a you, when you pull noise. a cord oh, and yeah. amp oh, really oh, fast. Yeah, totally. Microphone feedback. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I was gonna say I thought you were like the the noise in Hell's Kitchen or not Hell's Kitchen in Kitchen Nightmares whenever it pans to like a filthy <laughs> thing on the floor. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that noise. <laughs> um, let's see. Got to be a high school girl violin. <laughs> Uh, I will attack it with my star knives. That's yes. pretty cool. Are you and going to do that up and close, or are you going to do that from far away with the hya? How far am I? You are 20 feet. Uh, that's in range. <laughs> um, I will... I would suggest throwing them, because I don't remember if I let you use dexterity for your melee attack yet. <laughs> Definitely, because I'm putting a lot of time making sure she got but it Star is a, Knife's grace it on is a, character. It is a thrown weapon, though. Yeah, yeah. You can do both. it's versatile. It's, it's a, a throwing weapon. It is a, ha, huh, no matter if you are, like, this way, this way, this way, or this way, that far, or this close, I can get you. Actually, I thought yours were, I mean, they may have started to start They're off, but weapons. I thought you reflavored them as those, um, like, Indian throwing disc Oh, yeah, the things. Yeah. 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 yeah, the chakra. That's what I thought Evil also. eyes. Um, okay, but I'm going to do that. And painful stare, if that's how that works. Yeah, as long as you're getting a... Well, yeah, 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 that's your Okay, yeah, I'm going to do that. Now. You didn't uh, stop staring at it, did you? Not for one second? Not no, I second. never stopped staring at <laughs> it. I believe you. I, believe that's I didn't what, expect it to do anything. That's but. what... That's why you're... <laughs> that's why you're so um, impressive. And I will use... Starry Grace. Yes, you can't not. I will. So. Okay, great. Perfect. Uh, so I rolled to see if I hit. Yep. What do I add to that again? Your my attack range. modifier should be end by right by your weapon. Yeah. Ranged also. Um, or yeah, no, I, did, I think I put it by your weapon. Should be should just fill in the, the oh. long skinny box. Oh, I see. Twelve. Twelve. Yep. Plus something because of painful, or is that damage? That's it's damage. damage. Okay, never mind. Yeah. Maybe the problem is like your eye is just a little bit too much on the ball. <laughs> you also kind of have to like look. Just it doesn't quite hit. Sorry. Yeah. Um. It is now Aurora, your turn. Okay. Um uh, I would like to attack one of the demons. It's a good start. It's a, it's a good it's no. I it is an objectively good capital G thing to do, I believe. Yes. <laughs> um probably the one that did not cast resistance good. It won't matter. Doesn't do that. Doesn't matter. Okay. Unless you, yeah. unless you, if you have a a, a, uh, a wholly aligned weapon, then that's uh, way too much money for this level. So don't do that. Okay. It's not wholly aligned. It's not yet. Like a flaming center. Okay. Yeah. No. It's, it's fire aligned. Yeah. Okay. Roll your attack. I got one. It's really the the message you're sending to the people though with the. <laughs> Can you just pretend I was dancing? <laughs> that's what it looks like from the outside. So, um, um, is it like a VR thing where she slams into a tree that she doesn't see? <laughs> <laughs> Almost cuts down the tree, though. So, uh, What do you, would you like Rotodactylus to do? Uh, I would like him to try and smite it again. I'm going to need a new house after this. <laughs> yeah. Think the about market think is about growing. Uh, 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 go ahead and roll. <laughs> We have fun here. Um, uh, I will have to see, though, actually, smiting something with protection from Gridon and I... Let's see what that does. I'm not actually 100% sure what that does. I don't often have my players cast protection from good. They should, because they're not usually good. They usually definitely need it, but... Protection from existentialism. I wish, man. It's called alcohol. It's a, and you shouldn't do it. It's a bad thing. Don't do don't do drugs or al- don't smoke it's, it's alcohol. Not the solution. Don't drink weed. Don't drink it. You'll die. It's horrible. Don't gargle bong water. Protection from good. This spell functions like protection from evil. 
<laughs> nice. Powerful. <laughs> It's like those dictionary entries that just divert to other words. <laughs> right. <laughs> or the Adam West phone book. Repulsive, the Batman. opposite of pulsive. What are you doing? You, you Can I just pivot and do something else instead? <laughs> I don't actually think it matters. Um, so go ahead and just roll it. Okay. Uh, Eidolons have very specific rules that I, normally, if a summoned creature that is good aligned touches something with protection from good, it just poofs. But because that would suck if your entire class feature did that every time somebody used a level one spell against you, Eidolons <laughs> are have it just have a no clause. Nice. I think I got a sixteen. Sixteen won't hit. Okay. But um, yeah, because you stepped away from the bird, so well, the bird could just five foot flat back. You can keep rolling. He's tired. Okay. Ten. One more shot. It's only plus two, but why not? Five. That's why not. All right. This, this <laughs> Kill me. I don't know what's going on over there. <laughs> I'm rolling like twos and threes oh, exclusively. Gosh. Over here, we're having we're having dog mouth noise. Yeah, <laughs> right. The direction we're going he's in this fight too. He's gonna go run up to uh, Owen because nobody's attacked him yet, and that seems like the cool thing to do. All right. All right. <laughs> Bring it. Is this the frog? He did not. The bringing did not happen. He, was, he left it back there. Just hold my foot out against his head as he's like... <laughs> Coco, so... It's my turn. It is your turn. Okay, uh, is Goat Guy still next should to me? Should I get in on this? I feel like I should yes. get in on this. Yeah, yeah, right. He seems more threatening, so I'm just gonna like, like just toe I mean, these movement. I'm just gonna be push the dredge away a little bit, and oh. I'm gonna take... Cause now I'm gonna damage. do a brawler flurry, and I'm gonna do just two yeah. solid jabs right into the house is other guy. Ruined. I get a minus two for each attack, I believe. Yeah. it twice Um... What was the plus two for last time? That was for the charge. The charge. Okay. Can I get in on this? Uh, natural Which... 20! Woo! Uh, Woo! What is your policy on confirming critical? You do it. Okay, fine. I just have to hit. If they're already done, let's roll 20 again. I will get in on this. Uh, 22. <laughs> yep, yep. Okay. Uh, can I... I'm going to go and roll the same yeah, attack. Yeah, roll the whole thing. Uh, that one was only a 12, I think. You got gun in right. twice with the I'll right and none with the, the left, just... which is confusing. Mm-hmm. You got the, the the one one two, which nobody expects. Um, okay, so that's two d eight plus four normally. So I do all that and then multiply by two. Yeah. Okay. Pizza hand. Yeah. Oh, damn it. <laughs> um, oh wait, no. I roll. I actually roll four times. Right. It's four d eight plus eight. Roll. Yeah, you can keep rolling. Okay. So it's six. God damn it. <laughs> Fine. Fine. Um, uh, 17. 17. He does. How strong is my phone? All right. <laughs> he does. Yeah. It's, not like, it's not like super dramatic or like, One oh punch. my god. No, that was Have you ever seen punches. a demon that was, explode? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you still won't. Have you ever seen a demon like... Go, I punch oh, him. Oh, in, kidney function. <laughs> I punch him in the heart. I just, just, just direct heart punch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but I didn't. T- <laughs> oh my god. Yep, just like that. He collapses like a rug on the floor. I think it's racist when you say it about a goat person. I don't know, but and I'm gonna turn like and look goats? at the uh, just, just stare at uh, the dress that I pushed away. The dredge. Incidentally, is going to get a special action to poof out of existence. It is okay. done. No, the dredge <laughs> leaves. The dredge is done. That was good. That was enough for the dredge. Yay. Um, Beautifully done. It is back up to the top of the turn order. Uh, I, I think he's first, yeah. Yeah, Jeffrey's top. No, the top was one of the goat guys. Uh, but I think oh, it was that goat that guy. I just killed that so, heart punched. <laughs> Revenant. Yes. Okay. I will use my move action to reload. Yeah. Okay. Cool. And And who's left? Uh, one goat dude. I want to shoot him. Do it. Do it. Okay. But I want to do it twice. So I will allow it. (laughs) Because I think you've had a tough day. Rapid shot. Free your mind from the demons. Also, uh, just quick question. Uh, I have a thing called precise shot, but my shorthand is do not take minus four if target is in combat. Right. That's all true. It's not... 
and you still have it, so it doesn't right. matter. This, this was a waste. C- keep going. Okay, got it. I'll just ignore <laughs> that. Any of that. Sounds good. Um, I am also going to do sharp shot again. You should be out of crit. Uh, no, because I got a crit and I got a kill. Did when did you hear you use your grip by the time? Because you was pistol whip was one, right? And then, right. Okay. I started with two. Mm-hmm. I I got two more from those, and I used two yeah, right. grit. Right. I am at two grit right now. Sure. You know okay. what? If it works in your head, it works in your head, right? So go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ready so, to roll oh, two attacks? Yes. Yes, I am. Okay. So. The only limit is your mind. <laughs> <laughs> you can do whatever you want. I am going to wait. Truly, if this was in his brain, else. couldn't yeah, he be like flying around though. and <laughs> shooting <laughs> fire kicks? You are the one. Okay. That is the most average roll I've seen in my entire uh, life. 18 and a 19. And the, shot is the 19 yeah. works. <laughs> Interesting. It, even with touch? Oh, no, it's actually both work, yeah. Sweet. Okay. Next, I am going to roll damage. Yeah, can you imagine is, like, losing like, around, like, a seven-foot-long halberd yeah, yeah, and being, like, at the front half of a goat and still having a touch AC of 19? Just, like, that means you're, ta- like, you're mountain goating around on human feet. <laughs> That's not bad. Okay, so that is uh, a 12 plus of... Mm-hmm. Oh, well, yeah, no, no, not plus anything. Uh, so a 12 and a 9. 12 and a 9 make 21, and that makes him dead. Yay! We killed the demon. Yay! <laughs> well, you killed the demon, so, so I sat uh, outside looking. Immediately, everyone's also, like, y'all are all just like... I get it back. Y'all, y'all are all back. <laughs> yeah, here. You um, you're like in the kind of like cool like kata stance. Um, Aurora, you are like... Uh, you have fainted uh, not so delicately against a tree, um, but with like great dramatic flair. Uh, Psycho Scare, I believe you are still staring angrily. Like, your stories are like burning bushes, right? Just and what you are, did you drink? He drank a lot of I sewer don't water. I remember. <laughs> that what that out, does? Then, so what happens is you go. I, I suddenly your head just like flips back, and uh, your mouth opens wider than it has ever opened before. And it's covered a lot today, and uh, there's a screaming, piercing cry that is uh, that is not coming out of your mouth, but going from the heavens down into your mouth. Oh, God. The clouds swirl backwards, and the four, you see these four uh, horrible, wretched, like, twisted uh, smoke uh, beings just, like, spiral up out of your lungs and uh, just screech loudly into uh, uh, heaven and hell both, a vessel, we need the cleanest, emptiest vessel, and they immediately beeline straight for Chomwell and just dive right through the top of the head. Do, 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 do. Go ahead and make a will save. Which one's that? I say we just leave this one, huh? Which one's will save? Uh, it's, it's just... A that what sewer water looks like? Oh, 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 right, right, right. Okay, six. Well, you see, we live in a so demon a continent. Then. No, you roll a 20. All the sewer plus water plus has demons in it. Got it. This Every single right. yep. little bit of sewer. It's really gross. You know, I didn't know that, but I can't say I've ever tried uh, 17. it before, so I'll, I'll take your word for it. 17. So... As a part of your vigilante archetype, when you get stressed out and make a will save and it doesn't work, you get a little angry. This guy's place is destroyed enough. So uh, you want to, you want to, uh, just just so we can say once, you want to give us a rundown on exactly what happens when you get mad. We haven't even seen this happen before, have we? This literally has never happened <laughs> since we started playing this game. <laughs> <laughs> he turns into a hat? I can't see. <laughs> <laughs> and I can't see, and I just start flailing to beat whatever's attacking me. That's It could be anybody. It could be anything. Like, it makes sense that this is what he understands because he can't see it happening. It is horrifying. It's like, what happens if you fill water balloons with evil that had gone bad? Like, all of his biceps, they bulge, but not in cool ways. It's like they bulge inward, and you see, like, veins kind of, like, popping out through the back. All the colors are wrong. He's just, like, like, grows outwards. Outwards, he becomes just the most horrifying-looking thing. Um, And then his eyes go black. There is a roar, quite like the one that was uh, that screamed out in the heavens before. And this creature, which I, I should mention, is not really Chomwell any longer. Uh, just absolutely Hulk bounces out. And is just gone. 
I say we just let that one go. <laughs> I mean, the townspeople don't like you already, so. Yeah. Apple sticks, out. Like, sort of sticks her head out. I offered to put them in a bottle. But you said you didn't want to keep them. Am, am, I, 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 am I completely too. conscious and aware of everything at this point? Yes, welcome to the game, Liram Quill. Fair we are in a forest. Wait, what? What is a forest? <laughs> right. Hi, you're in what used to be my apartment. How are you feeling? Okay, I guess. That's okay. great. That means it's working. You've had a lot of demons inside you. Your husband, um, he's now filled with the demons and he jumped away. <laughs> Oh God! What? He said that you were his husband. A lot happened while you were out. Yeah, we got. Married. What have you done? We married you. Do you have a place that I can crash for a while? No. Oh wait, do we? <laughs> <laughs> you do. Oh. There's lots yes. of sleeping room in the statue. Right. It's somewhere. Because I assume my place is quite literally trash. And I would not hesitate to point out. Very, very gross smelling. I'm gonna take my- That's not even the demons, that's just, that's just Liram. I'm gonna take yep. my planter of cactuses and my empty bird cage and probably leave everything else because it's probably shattered. Sounds good. I'm going probably. home. I will right, see you all later. And we will uh, call it there. Um, all right. Nice. And we'll see exactly what happens with these developments next time. Yeah. Thanks for watching everybody. Thank you so much for watching Altered Egos. If you haven't checked out Dice Dungeons yet, uh, go give them a look. There's two more hours before the mystery pack deal ends. If you buy something for $20 or more before noon Central Standard Time, you will get a bonus pack of mystery dice. For the foreseeable future, you can use the code DOORMONSTER, all lowercase, to get 10% off your order uh, no matter when you buy it. So if you're watching this after the fact, you can still get a discount. Hope you enjoyed Altered Egos. Thank you guys so much for all the feedback uh, that you left on last week's videos. They did really well and it was really encouraging and we all really enjoyed reading all of your comments. We don't normally do the whole like, comment, and subscribe spiel here on Door Monster because, you know, screw the algorithm and uh, money, but uh, it is actually very helpful to let us know what you guys like. It will let us know that you guys are interested enough for us to keep making more of them. If you're not interested, don't interact with the video, and we'll know that those aren't as good, and we won't make more of them. We'll be back on Friday with another new video here on the main channel, and in the meantime, you can check out Door Monster Podcast, which is another YouTube channel, and where you're uploading podcasts every single Wednesday, and all of our old ones are on there too, so there's lots of content on there to keep you busy in the meantime, and uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. See you later.